All right, welcome, welcome. So I tried to stream a reaction for this yesterday and the stream kept crashing, but it's too good to not get a live video of um, or get a reaction video of. So we're going to watch um, a portion of the Fresh and Fit interview on H3 Podcast. I'm skipping some of the beginning part because it's kind of a little bit boring and has been tread over again and again. Not that interesting. Some of the later stuff, though, is is pretty great. Also, this is my first time gaming while streaming, so we will see how that goes. Um, I'm probably not going to be any good because I'm also like cloud gaming, so I don't know how that's going to work with latency issues, but we will see. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I think this is right after they talked about the uh, grapist dude that they had on their podcast. Well, thanks. Sometimes that makes two of us. Things can happen where we misspeak on what we say. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, me and I were coming up in the YouTube streets, Rumble streets, you know, trying to make a name for ourselves. And somebody made an accusation against my friend Myron here. Some, you know, Listerine was misplaced and uh, not used correctly. But all of a sudden, you and your team came to the defense of this person's allegations, and surprisingly, you said that we were rapists. And I was like, "Didn't say no. that. That's actually a that's a flat out lie. Did I don't know why that? you need to lie about that." You insinuated, did not. not no, nope. I've got all the assault. clips. You guys want to go over it? Yeah, that that whole situation was a mess. Um, I don't know what they're going to have new to say about it. You, you insinuated that it was sexual assault. Is what you, up, baby. That's true. That's true. And I believe it was, by the way. We can go over that. I do believe you did sexually assault her, Myron. And we can go over that. She didn't even want to say that. Yeah, wow. I know. That's and I, I know. Exactly. That's why I'll say it. I'll say it for her. You'll say it for her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ethan. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Coconut, um, you misspeak a lot. You, like, Coconut, I'm not even, honestly, I'm you not think even rape angry. is the same as? Hold on, okay. Hold on, Ethan. If this was you, bro, and someone accused you of this, you know what I'd say? I need all the evidence before I say Ethan did this because as a man, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. This would be the one time that they take a grape allegation seriously. And that's what we true, do, bro. It's terrible. Women lie all the time and say, "Oh, he did this and that," which normally could not be true. And we believe it because she said it. First is, what does Ethan say? You know what? I'll give Ethan that benefit of doubt. Unfortunately, you didn't. Only from TurboTax. Get $100 back instantly at filing when a TurboTax act. He goes that. You, you say, you know what? Fuck these niggas. They're grapists. Yeah. And, and not for I would never it, use the N word, Walter. How dare you? Or, well, not today. Anyway. And, then, and then we did our podcast, right? <laughs> and we, we debunked it. We showed the text message. We showed everything. Yeah. And um, oh, so let's look at the clips then. Instead of typing, uh, talking hypothetically, let's just let's just dig I'm into it. Clearly, this is this is something of a point of contention. So here, I mean, I don't really care about it. I, I'm I'm cool with de debating the other. Oh, he doesn't really want to talk about it, huh? That's interesting. So, but if you want to go, well, Walter down brought it up. He seems to care about it. We just want to know why. I mean, I think the well, I think the, because I think well, Myron clear. sexually assaulted her. How? Well, let's We're, get into it. Y'all want to talk about it or not? Yeah, of course. All right, so here's so let's 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 start by watching her recount the story, okay? Let's start here. And let's just, you know what I mean? Let's just be concrete about. It. We don't need to speak hypothetical. Yeah, if I remember correctly, she was she was more just recounting it as a weird or awkward date. Um but yeah. Um here is her retelling the story. And um Guys like are about trying to, like, you know, again, like... Because <laughs> you guys lost 10,000 subscribers after this. You guys know that, right? Like, after we did our episode, I'm warning you, Ethan, like, you did your episode on this, then we did our retaliation episode showing yep. the evidence You think you affected our sub count? That's crazy. Oh, I got oh, the numbers. You got the numbers. Buddy. You guys lost 10,000 that day. We can show it right now. Yeah. Okay. On Social Blade. We, uh, I, why, why are they yapping about this? Why would their... Why would that matter, even if they did lose followers over that, like... I don't think that they would care about that. I don't know if you know this, buddy, but we lose 10,000 every month. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't... Hey, bro, I lose 10,000 every month, sucker. 
Look, that Calvin, shit's like, that, that's just right commonplace, here. man. You'll take credit for that. But anyway, let's talk about, can we talk about the actual issue instead of getting so emotional all the time? Oh, I'm just showing you the numbers. Who's emotional, bro? I'm just warning you. you, you I just, Walter, when I'm trying, I'm just trying to have a straight conversation. I love how, I love how he keeps calling him Walter. It's it just, it's a comical name for the situation. You guys start screaming and hollering about sub counts and stuff. It's very emotional. Screaming. Do you guys, do you want to watch this clip? We'll go for it, man. All right. Oh, you give him cues like I want to leave. I don't want to be here. And I'm like, so oh, on the bed. So I not used to bed, playing this way. This is rough. Bed, you know, like the memes, how they say how girls are. And um, I'm sitting at this edge of the bed. He's like, oh, you know, you can come up a little bit more. So now I come up, but I leave a nice gap between the both of us where it's like very obvious. Like, I don't like you that I'm leaving a gap between us. And I'm on my phone. He's on his phone. And I remember, again, I was speaking about my views. Once again, he just jumps on top of me and starts making out with me. Wow. And like, like, like trying to kiss me and stuff. And so I'm like, I have my hands like on him where it's like, I don't want him like laying on me like intimately. So I'm just holding my hands up and I'm like, no, 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 no. Mind you, this was about like max a minute long. And I was wearing like this shirt and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I he lifted up out. your shirt and kind of looked at underneath it and commented? Yeah. Yeah, my chest. Because I have, I have piercing. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you, you said what? No, I said I have piercing, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Did creepy. It was so very weird. I, 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 I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> this... This is a bad. This is very bad. This is a very disturbing yeah. uh, story, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. It's interesting, but at that point, I think like, he may have assaulted you. I mean, at this point, I. Yeah, I. I mean, I don't want to say that, but like again, like. Mm, I don't want to say that. So, so, and again, that's why I. First of all, I don't think it's fair how you guys dogpiled on her because she never even. Yeah, the way that they responded to the responded to this and treated her was horrendous. Um. I, I yeah I mean, but basically the way they responded to it, just like made it so much more of a red flag in my mind. Said it was assault. I did. So let's talk about me. Because um, Ethan, the reason why she said it wasn't assault is because um, you're leaving out the part where she came over to my place. She left where she was at. To that is n no part of that. Confirms consent for what happened. You can be you can be excited to hang out with somebody and even like be looking forward to having relations with them up until it's time to do it and and whatever for whatever reason you're not into it or something changes and you don't feel right that can happen at any time come to my place she went and hung out with me and we went and got food prior to this then we were in my bed she came back to like you don't have to like go and kidnap somebody from their home for it to be SA, you know? My place, by the way, after this. Matter of fact, Fresh, didn't she ask you to give you a, give her a ride to my spot? That is correct. Oh. And oh, all yeah. of those things entitle oh. you to grab her fucking top and expose her breast? What? Um, yeah, none of that is, like, convincing to, like, there's a such thing as, a, as date grape. Like, none of that is, exonerates him of the allegations what that's what she said you did Dude, max a minute long and i was she they, weren't kissing we're they, making out I, I i don't know if you're in the game ethan i know you're married and you haven't been you know single for a while but um it's called escalation it's called women showing she, you signs. she said and, that you attempted to kiss her and she pushed you off that, that's that's not true bro because i told her to go get listerine and she went ahead and did it Okay. That's where the well, mouthwash show came from. Well, first of all, let me say this. Let me say this. You're not going to win this. <laughs> you weren't there. Here's the all right. Well, uh, here's the other thing, too. You're uh, getting excited. To... I'd like to make my point, but you can go. Yeah, they're like yapping a lot for people who are innocent. No, no, no. Here's the other thing, too. At the beginning of that clip that you like to play, because you like to play clips and not the full thing, I said, oh, come up. And what does she do? She gets off the edge of the bed and comes closer to me. I mean, I think that's a sign, right? Well, Ethan, that's what you said. Bed. That's that's what Jeez. you said happened. She just said it in the thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh no, I, you're right. She she said she said he asked me to come closer and I came a bit closer. But that that makes sense to me. Uh, if you know, let me. 
I think it's reasonable but, that I that I heard her say he jumped on me. Yeah, let me speak, please. Thank you. Please. I think it's reasonable for me to conclude. She says he jumped on me, and he lifted my top to expose my breast and commented on my breast. That that is reasonable for me to conclude that that is uh, sexual assault. And so, and then when I really doubled down on it is um, when you responded to it. So here, let me watch a clip of you responding to it, Myron. Wearing like this shirt, and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm the way that they had like a cap counter throughout this was so utterly disrespectful. Like, just so that they had, n he had no respect for her as a person. Over this, like, and Wait, I you lifted him up out. your shirt and kind of. That, my friends, is what she's mad about. They're fucking. Their fucking sound bites are so cringe. Like they suck so hard at it. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's 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 play just a little bit longer, and I'll expose it for y'all. I've looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah, yeah, my chest, cause I have I have Ugh. piercings. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you you say what? No, I said I have piercings, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Did... creepy. It was so very like, I I I I don't want to. Like... No, it was not creepy. She's mad because I basically made a joke about her titties being lopsided. Whatever. <laughs> it is what the fuck it is, man. <laughs> All right? <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! Yeah, so you just described sexual assault. You just admit uh, to it, right? I mean, you said, I, no, did, I, I did lift her top, and I commented on her breasts. Yeah, and it, it was 100% consensual, Ethan, because... Well, she, she, not according to her. Oh, really? See, here's the thing. I don't know. You, I, I'm again, once again, it's fantastic that you pulled up a clip from that podcast. I don't know if you saw that number 59 there, but during the course of the podcast, that was 59 times she lied to you, and I showed proof that yeah, she you lied. You were very generous with those podcast. cap counters. Uh, uh, no, 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 I, I was, I was no. very thorough about it because I showed full text messages. It was a six well, hour. Long anyway, podcast. I'm talking about th th this. Is the point that matters? This is why, like, you, you need to be, you need to be. Um... Don't assume and don't leave things left unsaid when it comes to being intimate with somebody. Um, you guys can have gone on a date. You guys can be excited to be together. Um, you can even be making out whatnot. But at any time, something can change for somebody or, or, or they can feel not comfortable. And especially if you haven't explicitly talked about what you guys want to do together, then just don't like if, if you feel any discomfort from them, like say something, speak up, check in with them, see if they're okay. And um, if, if you are on the other side of that, if you don't feel comfortable, be explicit about that. And be forceful about that and it's okay like you don't have to do anything you don't feel comfortable doing it doesn't mean that you're not interested in the person sometimes the moment just doesn't feel right or sometimes you know maybe you don't feel good whatever it is it doesn't matter um it should be respected of course but yeah don't if if you know don't just assume Pay close attention to people's body language, to cues, stuff like that. And at the end of the day, there, there's just nothing wrong with um, explicitly asking for consent. And I think, too, it is always good to just talk about having sex before you do it. Because, like, I mean, it's, you know, talk about your boundaries. Talk about, you know, if you have any hard boundaries um anything in particular that you like like it can en it enhances the experience and so just just talk about it like you I, I, this whole thing of like worrying if if they're going to think you're lame or something like it much better to think that you're lame than to make somebody feel uncomfortable you know what i mean right the assault part right, right. let's focus the, on yeah. that okay so you you basically are confessing now and then that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts 
She let me do it, Ethan. What was she? <laughs> That's what I'm trying like if 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 the roles were reversed and he was describing feeling uncomfortable her getting on top of him and him like very obviously giving off body language that he was not interested and then she pulled down his pants and made a remark about his genitals i like i i think that uh, like that would be clearly like nobody no guy wants that nobody wants to be exposed and then made have a derogatory derogatory comment made about them that doesn't sound consensual to me I'm trying to tell you spoken like a real fed bro she let you do it and, and, yes. and what in what way did she end it yes. did she say you can lift my breast you can lift my top and make fun of my breasts Ethan no 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 <laughs> Walter let Myron talk don't don't help hold on, hold on. Uh, it, uh, Ethan, um, let me ask you a question. Like, she you, let you do it. What does that mean? It, like, when you and your woman are about to make love, do you sit there and go, "Do you mind if I lift your shirt are up?" Are you talking about my wife that I've been no, married to for like, twelve what, years? Whether it's your wife or a woman that you've hooked up with in the past. So th there's just a huge difference between um, that and being with somebody for the first time. When you're with somebody for years, like 10, 12 years, I think, Elon. Ethan had been married. When you're with somebody like that for a long time, you you build up trust together. Um, you you trust that the other person is going to care for you. You guys know when you are, you know, in the mood. Um, you feel comfortable, you know, saying that when you're not interested. And th there's just a level of comfort there that gets built that is not there when you're with somebody for the first time. And you should not be... Um, making assumptions when it comes to that it's just it's just going to be different you're going to be more explicit you're going to be more careful you're going to um check in a lot more because you don't know the person you don't know what they're comfortable with you don't know what their telltale signs of of discomfort are you don't know so don't leave it unsaid she said Let's she was pushing here. you off Dude. No, that's not true. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not true. Okay, it's but that, if that's what she said, then you agree it's reasonable for me to conclude that. Like at, at the end of the day, obviously, I, you know, it, it's his word against hers. I, I believe her, and it's fully possible that he may just have like a totally different idea in his head about the situation and what happened, and he genuinely thinks that he didn't do anything wrong. But at the end of the day, she was very uncomfortable and um, did not like what happened. Their essay did happen. That's not true, bro. But That's even but you know what you know what's interesting to me is that you're con that entire talk. But that you're confessing. You you're you're confessing right no, now. No, you understand no, that, right? No, 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 Ethan. Am I crazy? Think, this no, man just confessed. No, because you're trying to listen. You're trying to hear something that didn't happen. I'm telling you, she literally <laughs> right because once again you're playing clips and you're not playing the full thing. This girl asked Fresh to come to my house. He had to drive her from Miami. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't um, exonerate him. That doesn't prove that what she said happened didn't happen at all. Beach all the way to my spot, yeah. which is about thirty minutes away. Okay, FYI, she went out and hung out with me. We went to go get some food. Then she came back to my place. Then I told her we kissed. Why do you think I told her to go get some fucking Listerine? Because I didn't like the way Bro, her you, As much as you want to go on about what happened, the lead up does not indicate no, 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 consent yeah. anyway. Ethan. Lead up Ethan. is not consent, brother. Yes. And then I said, yo, I don't like the way her breast smells. You need to go get some Listerine. She goes and gets the Listerine and comes back. Okay? <laughs> then we're in bed kissing or whatever. And I, she says, oh, he jumped on me. That's not true. That's why she was reluctant to say, oh, I don't want to say sexual assault. Because she knows everything was consensual. She everything that led up to it was consensual, bro. Now you're trying to make something of of something that isn't true. Just okay. To, okay. Just to reveal, <laughs> you say there was lots of leading up to this, okay? Yes. That showed that she was uh, consenting. Then yes. you guys go to your bedroom, and with and where um you kiss her. She says that you jumped on her. You disagree. But then the part that's important, in my opinion, which is the essay part, you say you, you say then and now 
that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts. And you don't deny that. Don't forget. She Walter, let him, let him answer. I just, I, I worded, I took my time wording that. W oh, Myron. Admit, she was wearing my she, clothes. She, she was wearing my clothes, it's, too. His clothes. She was wearing my clothes. Tell me it why doesn't I matter. And, uh, hold on. Uh, just, just, so you, again, just to, just to Ooh. say I understand it. You lit, you let, you lifted her top and commented on her breasts, right? And you don't deny that. Yeah. Okay. Myron's shirt. I lifted my, actually, I lifted my shirt. So if a girl's wearing your shirt, I'm you sure. can assault her. No one said that. No there was no assault. There was no assault. I'm trying to show how oh, okay. ridiculous your argument is. Trying to say that because she, because you told her to do listerine. Her shirt. It's like, bro, it's my shirt. She changed it to my clothes. She drank my oh. listerine. She was in my bed at two or three o'clock in the morning. She asked my friend to drive her to my spot. Thirty was she minutes. On the, let, let me ask. Yeah. Again, to be clear, for all you youngins out there, none of this equals consent in the moment. And it is fully valid for people to withdraw their consent at any time. And it's important to make people feel like they have the ability to do that. They, to, to make them feel safe. To make them feel like if they were to say no right now, you would immediately stop and change the mood and figure out how to make them comfortable do something else with them whatever it may be because the whole goal of having sex together is having a wonderful intimate connection with somebody that you both enjoy and if you are not considering the other person in that then that's not what's happening there you are using people this was she on the foot of, she said she was on the foot of the bed and then by your own video that you just showed she I said, said oh, she scooted on, up a little bit she came closer okay she came closer that doesn't sound like a if i'm trying to hook up with a girl if she's like sitting uh at the edge of the bed and just inches up a little bit that sounds like someone who yeah i don't think I, like there's there's really no reason to keep talking about it like it the stories of the two people are what they are um it really just does come down to her word against his she got close to me bro we were making out why do you think i told her to get listerine ethan come on man ethan come on ethan we're all men here right before you married your wife did you smash maybe Once or do, do i do premarital sex yes <laughs> fucking cringe and when this happened just take us back in time here not to get to your business, but I'm just curious, bro. You were in the bed at some point with her, right? And did he magically just like say, "Hey, babe, can I see your tits?" Or did he say, "Oh shit, it's going, it's happening right now, it's hard as fuck." <laughs> Lift it up and then go for it. What happened? Um, not that. Not, I did not just lift her top up and go for it. That why does it have to be like either or? There's so many other things in between that. You don't have to be like a fucking robot about it, but also uh, you don't just have to be like, all right, let's do this. Right, no. I said, I need enthusiastic consent. Yeah. <laughs> well, me, said well, to me lifting your shirt well, up this much. That would mean you consent to be lifting but it, it up doesn't, this much. It doesn't sound like you guys were laying in bed making out. It sounds like you were making awkward advances on her. Dude, she told you in, the own th in your own thing that I told her to get Listerine, correct? <laughs> Why would I tell her to get Listerine? <laughs> you can you, you can only smell someone's breath if you're making out with them. You probably did it just because you're being a dick and you felt rejected because she didn't want you. Yeah. Oh, she went and got the listerine, right? Because she was rejected. Ethan, remember Amber Heard? Yeah. Yo, imagine if Johnny Depp didn't take her to court and fight for his life so, and his so career. Amber Heard Amber Heard lost the defamation case. Therefore, women be lying. No, no, no. They, they do be lying. Just proven. They do be lying. They lying. do be lying, bro. And how many other men have been in the same position where they've been lied about by women? Well, here's the thing. She didn't even <laughs> say it. He said it for her. <laughs> but again, again, this, this is why. I, yeah, eh, right. Of course. And again, I think it's fucked up. But it's not like it's not like anybody is going to the police. Like, again, like she all she did was just basically describe a bad date and that she felt uncomfortable and didn't like what happened. And um, Ethan was the one who took it further to say that what happened was an essay 
And um, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not like that would ruin their careers. I, I don't think anyone in their fan base cares about that. That y'all went after her because she didn't say that. First of all, I thought that was fucked up. She has every right to to um, describe a bad date that she had with you, which is what she was doing. Yeah. And then I drew the conclusion based on what you said then and now that you lifted her top and commented on her lopsided breasts, as you said, um, uh, which is the definition. That is actually quite literally sexual assault. No, it is not. It's not consensual. Criticism isn't illegal, bro. And even, they're lopsided. This is funny because if this was you, this position here, you know the big difference between us and you? We would say, you know what? We need all the evidence. We need evidence. To we want to say no crazy shit like that. That you are essaying somebody. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't think that they would do that. I don't think they would at all. I think this would be the one, that would be the one time that they actually take uh, essay allegations seriously. I'm not, I'm, I'm not taking this to the police. She gave her story and I listened. No, no, you assume, you assume, you assume, you assume for her. Defamation would be considered it's because not defamation. Said, it's literally hey, not defamation, bro. That's him that it's a first-hand account. It's a per it's just a girl saying this is what oh, happened to me. How's that defamation? Oh, you said this was sexual assault. She said no, it's not that. What, what and then you that? tried to make it that. That's crazy, bro. That's like us saying well, you. I, I think bro. that you basically bro, admit you that you did sexually assault defense. her. That's how bad you fucked up on that one. Yeah, even our enemies came to our defense. Your friends, Apple and Peach. Come to our defense. Yeah. I mean, it is it is definitely my opinion that you sexually assaulted her. That hasn't. Yeah, Abin Preach's uh, defense of them was pretty gross as well, too. Changed. Well, sir, I would say the general consensus is that you're wrong, and you guys. Like and I'm not. I'm not like an Abin and Preach hater at all, but that they had missed the mark on that. About ten thousand subscribers that day after we did our episode. Bro, I lose ten thousand every day, bro. It's like a fucking game. Oh, Don't you right. know? Yeah. Yeah, sure, you lose every day ten thousand. I mean, we could not look. every you day, every month, every single day. Come on, man. Can you, you guys? Uh, nice since you guys love stuff. Social Blade so much, why did y'all erase a hundred and twenty million videos for right before coming on our? Show? Oh yeah, they like cleaned up their channel right before coming on, like the day before. <laughs> so we didn't. We didn't. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> quite literally, look at Social Blade. You guys are. You guys removed like a ton of content from your channel. Yeah, we're controversial, bro. The <laughs> <laughs> fucking sound drops, the record scratch. That's like the one, like one of three sound bites that Myron has, and he does to himself. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Did, what did Monsters. you remove? Yeah, we we Monsters. yeah we we cleaned up our channel, bro. Like we're we, we all of our videos on Rumble, man. Yep. You cleaned it up. Yeah, we clean up our channel, our our shit that are because we're not politically correct. We've made great changes. Oh. Yeah, YouTube's good so, And yeah, why we're... why yesterday of all times? We didn't do it yesterday. Yeah, that's what it says here. Man, we did it weeks ago, man. Yep. We did it about two weeks ago now at this point. We're putting all the good stuff. We're Rumble. transparent about that. We said, yo, all of our videos on Rumble, go check it out. All the best parts are Rumble. Yeah, man. Tap into it. I mean, you know about YouTube. Okay, so you guys, you guys were going back and erasing uh, offensive and uh, things that you guys have. Said. And the latency on this uh, I've done that too. It makes it so hard. Yeah, bro. All creators do it, bro. Yeah, bro. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. We we're controversial, man. I mean, I don't know why you're. I mean, that's not the point. You're taking away I from am the too. point. No, I am too. You lost ten thousand on that day after making that video. So. I all right. Well, well, you know what? It, then, then you know, I'm happy to say bye bye to. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why they keep harping on that. Uh, I don't know what that would prove to uh, assault apologists, you know what I mean? Like, Uber Eats has Lola V products? I gotta remember that. Well, you know, they say in order to remember something, you have to forget something. Go enjoy Fresh and Fit. But I'll be then, honest, oh there's God. zero overlap in our fan base. It's literally and that's zero. Fine. And that's fine. I think that's why we got so many people watching. We got almost 20 k Actually, we got 30,000 plus on our side watching. You guys, are, you guys usually erase your videos like you erased... Um, there was a video from yesterday you guys uploaded and then erased. Which one was that? No? Huh? Yesterday. No, we only did I one. Mean, we didn't even film yesterday. I mean, uh, oh, it was a video that was up and then it was deleted yesterday. Oh, was not. We did the Jake Shields interview and that's still up. Well, either way, man. Nice try, though. No deletion is normal. YouTube, yeah, bro. but yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not, <laughs> Come on, we're not running from that. Like, yeah, we delete videos all the time because we're trying to be within the guidelines because our stuff is controversial. Okay. So, so you got to keep. There was a video where you were dressed, you were dressed up in some anti-Semitic outfit. 
Uh-oh. Oh, here with we go. Zerka. And you, it was up two days ago, and it was gone yesterday. Yeah, why, why would they take that down? Right before talking to Ethan Klein. It's private now. What? It was never up on the YouTube channel ever. That is never. not true. That God, he's just so fucking lame. What? That is not true. You're lying. That is lying. Never, yeah. okay. I've had the timestamp. Oh. Where? Show us. Okay, I, I, to. You got I got it. it. I still got the timestamp. Yeah, give me a sec. Well, I've got it all here, too. Well, you guys want to talk? I mean, Myron, is it... Is the what? timing of going and erasing your anti-Semitism have anything to do with the timing of this conversation? Anti-Semitism? What are you talking about? Anti-Semitism. Uh, oh, are you denying being an anti-Semite? No, I'm not anti-Semite whatsoever. Mm. Are you? Big if true. Do I hate myself? <laughs> I wonder. Because I'm an Arab. I'm Wait, hold semi. on. Hold on. Why do you want... Oh, they're going to do the I'm, I'm a Semite too thing. Why do you want to do that? Arab, so um, do I hate myself as well? Yeah, I'm curious. Arab, it's... I didn't ask if you're Islamophobic. Uh, you guys want to talk about this? So here. Uh, here. You don't have to be a, mu a Muslim to be an Arab. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You okay? <laughs> Islamophobia. Like what? There are Christian Arabs. And there's Jewish right, Arabs. Right, too, right, right. Yeah, okay. So you say, so you say you're not anti-Semitic. So here's the clip that... Is this is the one that he erased from the other day? This is yeah. from YouTube. Uh, here it is. And then you can tell me if this is anti-Semitic or not. You're sitting with Nick Fuentes, by the way, a known neo-Nazi. You you agree with that, right? He's a neo-Nazi. Uh, no, I wouldn't agree with you on that. He's a groiper. Wouldn't agree with you on that. He's, he has an alt account that he communicates with you with called Autumn Groiper or something. Like, he literally... He literally is a self-described groiper. Kids love Hitler. Kids love Hitler. <laughs> what does that have to do with, like, what's your what's your point here? You're taking one clip. You're no, taking, I'm, you're, I'm you're just fantastic asking. at taking sound bites and trying yeah. to run with the narrative. You're fantastic <laughs> at doing that. We've bumped you a bunch of times trying to do that. What's your problem with Nick? Right. Okay. He's uh, he's a great, upstanding guy. He's, there's nothing uh, anti-Semitic about him. Let's watch this clip. He's gone. I already told the ADL. He's fucking yeah. gone. These anti-Semites. <laughs> what the? Myron got the call? <laughs> Six million died. Yeah. <laughs> so, at this Six point, what, do you, what is this you're dressed up as? And, and what does Six million died refer to? I can't see what you're showing. Oh, really? I can't see it. It's you dressed in a long black beard and a black top hat and a suit. Um, and you're you're talking yeah. So so what is it you're dressed up as here? You know what? I'm really glad that you brought that up, Ethan. You know what I have here? <laughs> Viking hat. Mexican hat. Are you anti? Are you comparing wearing up? This is like Stephen Crowder's show where they like every year they do they like <laughs> dress up as a different ethnicity and just be like horridly racist but they're just like we do it to everybody oh my god bro okay bro we we can actually talk uh, we don't need to see your whole wardrobe and but that's very sassy and zesty of you to have a no, 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 no. no because here's the thing my friend <laughs> because i love when you guys do bro, this oh because you're gonna go ahead and take one <laughs> clip let me just show you the clips right. man you're getting so emotional no, no 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 because because this is fantastic i knew you would do this i knew okay. you would do okay. this you would think they'd be better prepared if they knew everything they were going to do, you know? All right. And here's the thing. I make fun of everybody. I got hats for every single race, every single religion. Okay. I'm a, I'm so what did you... I fun of myself. I have I more. Would you like to see it? Dude, you could show whatever you want. I make fun of everybody, every race. I'm not anti-anything. I hate everyone equally. <laughs> I make jokes on everybody, bro. You knew I would pull... You were... You my, knew my I would pull the videos your race, right? Are the only That's one on my fantastic, team? Fantastic, man! You could pull well, whatever you want. You did erase it, though. Just you to be realize clear. that we don't hide anything. All this okay, stuff let's is let's on continue. Home. Let's continue. I let's understand what your point is. Let's continue. So you say Appreciate so you're dressed as a Jewish guy, and you start saying yeah. six million died. What is that about? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, hey, dude, if you want to debate on that, you could go ahead and obviously have that discussion with Nick. Oh, but again, Nick, I thought he was a normal, upstanding dude. No, he's he's a great. He's a Holocaust <laughs> historian. 
Yeah, Look, I, funny, right? Know, go ahead, let's finish this clip. Like, it was exactly six million. Was it was not a hit no. less. <laughs> what about five, nine, 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 nine? Uh, Stein is here. Uh, Anybody need a loan, by the way? I have to trade, but I got right to hook y'all up. Oh, oh, you, oh, man. Oh, 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 you know what's the most awkward what, part of the show? SSMX2? SSMX2? Yeah, yeah, what'd you say, bro? But okay, I understand. You make fun of everybody, so we can let this clip go. You know, I think I got a clip of you making anti-Semitic comments about Ben Shapiro, if I'm not mistaken. If we want to go down this road. You do. So. Is it okay for me to say the N Is it okay for me to say the N word? Ethan, you disabled our screen sharing. You, uh, do that or whatever, because if you want to go down this road, that's you, bro. Wait, hold on one sec. What happened, Walter? Are, are you guys having a hard time seeing the video feed? Uh, just to, to, sorry to pause the debate for a second, but I do want to fix that so you guys can see. I mean, this isn't really even a debate. It's him trying to reach. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to argue with you. I, I'm just wondering if you, if you need me to fix something. I'm trying to, trying to help. Yeah, it's just a technical question. <laughs> are, are you not able to see Ethan anymore? We, we no. can't see Ethan right now. Yeah. We can't oh. see Ethan? Okay, um, one second. Let me see if I turn off and on my video. We can see Ethan now. But we can't share our screen to show our videos. Um, uh, if you want to send us links, I can post stuff up. That's oh, cool. if you want the ability to screen share, here. I think I just did that. So theoretically, you can screen share it now as well. You have a way to get off in the first place. It's kind of weird, but once they shut that... Oh, the tech? Oh, the tech? This is spoken that I, I know, I know, it, everything is a conspiracy, but uh, it just, it's off by default. I just it turned it on. Matrix. All right, so me, guys. Yeah, so, it was the Matrix, so, exactly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let, let continue. Let's continue, okay. shall we? Do you, oh, hold on. Do you want to show the anti-Semitic clip of you talking about Ben Shapiro? Let's but bring can, up, I, can I say the N-word? Myron, can I say the N-word? I don't care. You can do whatever you want, bro. Is whatever it appropriate for a white person to say the N-word? You're going in. You can say whatever you want. What word? Walter, is it appropriate for a white person to say the N-word? No, no. What word is that? Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Sorry, my head. What word is that? Why are you acting like silly, like you don't know what I'm oh, talking oh, about? Oh, remember, hold on for brains. What word is that? Can, can you just come in real quick? Oh, oh is that what happens when I'm making a point that you know it's not easy no, for you to no, answer? No. You go, oh, I can't hear you. I got coconuts for brains. What's that word, Ethan? You, you're so smart, bro. What's the word? Real quick. What's the word? Uh, you know, I'll play the video. Uh, oh, no, I gotta, I gotta get the quote. What's that word, uh, Ethan? Come on, you're smart, bro. Oh, this. Okay. I'm waiting. I mean, look, bro, you can say it if, if you want. you guys want to play videos of me saying the N-word, I'm gonna, we, we can't show that, but I know that I have done it. That's what you said. Yeah, you did. And you made a bunch of racial comments, too, saying the N-bomb all over the place. I actually spoken. So, yeah. If you're going to call me a racist, bro, we're both racist together then, in that case. <laughs> well, no, not quite. Um, I thought you guys were going to play the Ben Shapiro clip. Yeah, let me get it real quick. Right? Few, but by the way. But I don't, I don't think it matters because I'm a Jewish man talking about another Jewish man. Obviously, they didn't have that ready to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, all... you understand that. You no, say the N-word all the time, and, and obviously that's, that's okay for you to do. It's, it's not racist if you say it, then. It is racist if I say it. So okay, so so you're a racist too, then I guess. In those moments, I definitely had moments of, of racist behavior for sure. Okay, and so and so you're anti-Semitic. So we're, we're on the same level, then I guess we're both racist. Bro, let me just let me just show you this point. You're obfuscating so hard. Let's just let's just focus. The yapping okay, is okay, is so insane. Like you're dressed up as a uh, like a Hasidic Jew talking. Like you would think they would have better. Uh, I guess they don't really have any media training, but you would think that they would be better at navigating confrontational discussions like this, but. They really don't like in any time on their show things get heated like they just get so emotional and yell at women and kick them out like talking about the six million died in Holocaust but you make fun of everyone so that's fine so let yeah. me go to some of the tweets you made Nick, sure Nick Fuentes is a nice person he's a pleasure to have on the show said Pearl yep. they hate Nick because he criticizes valve problems in American foreign policy and them boys can you tell me what yep. them boys means uh so <clears throat> I mean you, you want to go into this realm <laughs> sure yeah of course I asked you didn't I he has very valid critiques of American foreign policy when it comes to Israel <laughs> so what does them boys mean. <clears throat> Whatever you, want, whatever you want to mean. You can definitely have valid critiques of Israel's politics and their governments without uh, saying all the other shit that Nick Fuentes says. You know what it means. Oh, well, what, what does it mean when you say it? It means what Jewish people. The boys in business? Whatever you want to mean. Yeah, it can be whatever you want. Well, no, you said I know what it means. It means Jewish people. Okay. Is that okay. what you want? That, okay. Coconuts, I'm living in a reality where we're all sharing the same... You, you trying to create so this, like, weird know, situation where we don't we pretend that we don't know what anything means and we just pretend we have coconuts in our brain. Before, Bro, guys, it. let's just try to focus and do a point so we can actually talk about something. Sure. Um, I, 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 so I you mean, keep continuing with the Dem Boys thing. Okay, let's go. Uh, the Bolsheviks killed millions of Russians. Who's going to tell them they were Dem Boys? Yep, that's uh, a fact. Yeah, that's a, and then you say, this one is real interesting. You say the movie Europa is the yep. most based documentary. Yep. Can I read a synopsis of that of that film? We're going to read it from Wikipedia, one of the bot forums. Well, t well tell me if you think this is inaccurate. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm uh, grabbing it. Um, here it is. Yeah, it's from Wikipedia, but uh, do you have a better place to describe it? Yeah, that's Wikipedia. fine. Wikipedia. Bro, Wikipedia. Wikipedia lies about everything. Hell, they even make you look crazy on there, bro. You're well, it's all true. It's all true what they say. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, I, here, here's the, here's the synopsis of the film, and then correct me where correct it where it's wrong. The film yep. promotes various anti-Semitic conspiracies, claiming that communism was created by Jews with the goal of total world domination, and that Jews control the world's money supply and are conspiring to engineer the downfall of white race by encouraging immigration and interracial relationships. It also engages historical revisionism to claim that Jews started World War One and Two as part of a plot to establish Israel by provoking the Nazis into acting in self-defense. The film also claims that Jews caused Germany to defeat in World War One, which is commonly uh, referred to as the stab in the back myth that Adolf yep. Hitler was fighting against a global. Yeah, this movie is just like straight up Nazi propaganda. I don't know. Jewish plot. You called that movie. 
uh, how to get around that. I don't know why they would post that online. It's very based. It is very based. And I so, mean, is, is it 100 percent accurate? No. Most documentaries aren't. There's always so an error. Part, okay. All right. I'll say two based. Yeah, it's, it's not. Based on it, but you guys yeah. don't have a problem with the description. I mean, dude. I mean, where'd you read that from? You read that from Wikipedia, bro? Tell me. You watch the movie. Tell me if it's accurate. Wait, you didn't watch it either? Did you watch no, it? No, I did not watch some fringe neo-Nazi documentary, bro. Is this a Oh my god, they're yapping again. Accurate. Why? Dude, you guys are such more... Like, is this accurate? Is, is this accurate? Is, is this accurate? We're gonna talk about this, man. You didn't even watch it. Come on, bro. They said the sky was green in there and you wouldn't even know. Is this description accurate? You don't know. Do That's why I'm asking you, Walter. Jesus Christ, man. That's Wikipedia. What do you know? What do you know? I'm... How about, how about you so watch Walter, it? you've seen so, come back and Hold on, let me uh, hold on, let me talk to Cocoa Butter. Or Coconut. Um, Coconut. Co Coconuts, <laughs> um you've seen this video, this movie, correct? I've seen everything. Bro, why, why, why are we here? Are we doing a, are we gonna talk or are we gonna be silly? I thought we had a debate going on. I don't know. What is this? Have you seen this movie? Have you seen this movie, uh, Walter? I haven't seen everything. Okay. What's the Ethan, look. You said it's based, so I'm assuming you saw it. Is the, is the description stuff. accurate? Is the description accurate? Bro, to be honest, that's Wikipedia. I don't know what's accurate under. What, what, what do you want I read it to you. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Information entered your brain. It's time to process it. Dude, only story I watched when I was a kid. Why can't y'all? Why can't y'all answer if it's accurate? Dude, one, one like a couple months ago. They got remember shit. Do we need to go one by one here? Um, okay. Ethan, communism Ethan, was created by Jews with the goal of world domination. Agree or disagree? Like, Yo, I don't know. Ethan, if you didn't watch the movie, then we can't have a coherent discussion on it. You didn't even watch it, bro. So you're reading Wikipedia thing asking us if it's accurate. I told you at the beginning. Not all of it is 100% accurate, but it is accurate about a lot of things. Which parts were inaccurate and which parts, you know what I mean? Because I just you, read the description. You realize, like, eight, it's an eight hour long movie, you do realize that, right? Damn. That's a lot. That's a big commitment to being a, a fucking it's Jew no. hater. You invested a lot of time into hating Jews, brother. You sit down for eight hours and watch that. Uh, number one, I'm not a Jew hater whatsoever. Okay. Um, well, I feel like this would be so easy to shut down. Like, just, I. Yeah, I mean, first of all, don't say this kind of shit online. But yeah, I mean, there's there's ways you can. Nick Fuentes is much better at uh, obfuscating and and weaseling out of what he actually believes. We're working on that. We're we're working on trying to absolve you of that, but we're having a hard time. Business partners are Jews. We work with Jews. We don't have an issue with Jews whatsoever. Right. We, are we just love movies uh, that. Uh... I was spending so much money on random supplements, but I wasn't even sure my body was absorbing them properly. Critical of other things that might not, and here's the thing: we're critical of people that aren't even Jewish a lot of the times. Okay, so, so, so critical of a bunch of things. Just to wrap, just to just to wrap this up uh, on the movie Europa, of which the narrative is basically tons of conspiracy theories about Jewish people, uh, uh, a lot which are echoed by uh, Adolf Hitler and uses caused to kill Jews. You described that documentary as Europa is the most based documentary. Yes, and the reason why I call it based, Ethan, is because it covers historical facts that are hidden from American like what classes. Like well, what? Just watch the documentary, and we can. Yeah, just say, just say it with your chest. Why can't you tell me? Tell me what, Walter. Uh, tell me what, Myron. This, this also, this has like this brought out the neo Yahtzees in rare form online. Get me, keep my interest. We can't have a coherent conversation. Really? You, you, you can't have a coherent conversation because you can't fucking talk about it because you know you'll look anti Semitic as fuck if you even describe one thing it's about. Well, you watch the movie and then you can have a discussion on it. Oh my God, you guys hate you <laughs> so much. You tried, you tried to reach with anti Semitic things saying that you were. This is not a reach, my friend. Lots of things. That was a reach. Then, me saying that the movie is based, there's a bunch of other historical facts in there, right? Like how the Federal Reserve came into play, etc. So, do you need to learn about the Federal Reserve through an eight hour neo Nazi fucking uh, <laughs> propaganda film? What do you mean? You, there's lots of books about that. It would help. Again, bro. It would help. All right, so I, any, anyway, you, you guys say that it's most I based, know. but you refuse to tell me what it's about or Dude. if the description's accurate. Dude, once again, I told you, you not know. everything is accurate in the film. What's well, not accurate? Watch the movie, bro. Walter, it's you are silly. You're a silly boy, Walter. You're film. a silly, goofy guy. We're both silly together, my friend. That's right. One of us is fucking... We're, we're, you know what I mean? One of us hating Jews and being silly. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to say that, that. You keep trying to say that we hate Jews. We don't hate Jews. Ethan, you'll be we, black just love, we just love Hitler. Ethan, you'll be black friends. What? You never Wait. said we love Hitler either. Wait, hold on. Words in our mouth. No, I'm being silly. I, I, you didn't say that, but you, said, but you did say that. Anyway, no, go no, ahead, Walter. Go ahead. No, no, you love... Ethan, you didn't say that, did you? You love Hitler? Yes, Damn. Walter. You got me. <laughs> That's crazy. Walter, oh my god, bro, you just got me so good. Like you guys do. Oh my god, you guys, bro, you got me so good. It's almost like I it's almost like I confessed to watching an eight hour fucking documentary about Jewish uh, conspiracy theories and calling it based. I watch one of my hobbies. I like to watch World War II films. I like to watch World War One films. I like to watch documentaries in general. I love all kinds of documentaries too. I love I like war, uh, war documentaries. I've never for a moment I know about this documentary. I've never for a moment thought, hmm, let's give this a try. For eight hours? For eight hours? General, I enjoy learning history. I enjoy, okay, learning. I watch the history channel. I, one of my favorite YouTube channels is Nutty History. I like to watch that as well. Nutty. Six no, million no. Jews died is a myth. That's nutty. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? How many? I mean, the, the number is like six million, right? I mean, it's changed a bunch of times. I mean, you tell us. I don't know history. 
You don't know my history? What, like, what does that mean? How many? I mean, I, I answered already. You said like. I don't know. Well, I, uh, th knowing the, you want me to give you the precise number of people that died in the Holocaust? Yeah. You know, do you think that's possible? No. Oh. Okay. So, wait, you, you guys' know. bar is really oh. fucking weird. You want, so if no. I can't give you the exact amount of people that died in the Holocaust, then I don't know what I'm talking about? That's literally, like, impossible to know. Yeah, we Six don't know million people? You don't know either, either. You, you have an know. opinion about it, clearly. We don't, we don't know either, bro. Just saying. It's about six million, though. I'm, ha I'm comfortable saying that. Okay. Okay. Well, so you don't know exactly. We don't know. We'll take your word for it. Well, I know close enough. It's six million. All right. We'll take and your word for it, bro. Thank you. And so how many... They won't say it. Do you think died in the Holocaust? How many Jewish people? Whatever you think, man. What do you think? We think too. So you guys believe six million Jews died in the Holocaust? Whatever you think, brother. You guys really, like, are... You guys cannot answer questions. It's pretty incredible. You both are uh, just... You're getting please. so... Do you know, you guys are getting so emotional, and you close off on me. Emotional? I don't want you to close off on me. Like, I want you just to answer the question. You're, you guys are doing, like, um... You guys close, crush down, and I just want to know if you, how many... I know you have an opinion. Why are you afraid to say it? Yeah, I think the only reason that they did this interview was... I don't know if it is some bid to, like, try and get back into the mainstream or get a little bit more relevancy back. Um, but also, like, their fans are going to eat this up. Like, nothing they could do on this uh, podcast would change anything for their fans. They're going to love this and think that they were based and uh, owned Ethan and whatnot. But this is pretty pathetic for the kind of men they claim to be. Opinion? It's you, you try to, you try to why are you afraid to so answer much. the question, man? I wish you guys wouldn't be so right. cowardly with your opinions. You did not do your stand, homework for debate, my friend. Stand on you your not, fucking beliefs, you brother. Not, you did not do your research. Okay, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Try to say we're anti-Semitic. That was a fail. Try to say you were a selfie. Like, I don't have a bunch of other outfits here. That was a fail. Hey, you watched eight-hour movie, which I didn't watch at all, but I want to kind of argue, ask you questions about. But I didn't watch. I'm going to read a Wikipedia synopsis and say that this is true. I told you that. Which you have not refuted at all. You won't even tell me what is in it or what's it about because you know it will make you sound crazy. Why won't you just answer the question how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Why don't you watch it? How about you watch it, man? We can have a discussion. It about just it. told us what it was, so hey, we'll take your word for it. Yeah, man. By oh, the way, you guys are awesome. By the way, Ethan, you guys are oh. so cowardly. Like, at least if you're gonna believe shit, at least stand on it. You guys are being pussies. Like, you guys are such cowards. I can't. I'm surprised you guys are such cowards. Like, you, I'll answer any questions you guys have, and so far I have. I'm yeah, like it would be so easy to just like, I, like I, I, there's just no way they couldn't have known everything that he was gonna ask them, and it would have been so easy to formulate quick, concise, and witty answers that would make their fan base happy and shut down the conversation. But like they are, they cannot help but get emotional and start, start yapping and uh, trying to redirect. And it is, it is really entertaining. I'm not here like pussyfooting around like, Oh, I, I guess I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever you think. That's what, that's like emotional lame close down. Like you guys are being babies. Answer the questions I asked. For you. I've answered every question you guys have asked me. Great, that's good. Okay, how many, how many Jews died in the Holocaust, Walter? How many Jews died in the Holocaust? How many Jews died in the Holocaust, Walter? Whatever you said, bro. Yeah, that's not said. an answer. Dude, I don't know. Whatever you said, I believe you. You are more worse than I am, my friend. All right, well, Europa's <laughs> base. Let's not forget. Okay, so, so you guys are not anti-Semitic. I think we've pretty thoroughly debunked that claim. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say. How, how, how are we anti-Semitic? Break it down for us. Tell us how we're anti-Semitic to make that claim. How, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? You told us. We're going off you. What you said? Okay. You guys don't want to have a serious conversation about it. Okay. So uh, how are we anti-Semitic now? Uh, all right. Let's let's move on to um. Uh, making accusations that can't back it up. No, I, it's been thoroughly proven. You guys are anti-Semitic. But like, I'm not. There's no point in like running in circles, being like, prove it, and then you guys being like, I don't know. Yeah, Ethan, you do realize, right? Because you want to talk about us bringing Nick Quintus on the show. You do realize, like, two days later, we brought Dave Rubin on, right? Well, Dave Rubin is one of the most fucking <laughs> contradictory <laughs> morons. No, no, no. The point I'm trying to make here is that did Dave Rubin address what Nick Quintus? Come on, bro. It's not about that. I'm telling How you, many you died, brother. We brought Nick Quintus on. Then we brought Dave Rubin on. Is Dave Rubin a Holocaust uh, dis uh, historian? No, but or he's just a some random dude. Zionist? He's a Zionist, okay? And that's fine. But we like to bring people on of different thought processes and different opinions, okay? So just because we brought Nick on, doesn't mean Dave we're Rubin, King of the on. Jews, baby. He I came to clear it all up. We bring people on with different perspectives. Matter of fact, we're gonna bring Laura Loomer on next, uh, this week. So he brings people awesome. on with different perspectives, dude. You're trying to sit here and say that we're anti-Semitic, but we open our platform to Jews all the time. So nice try. Okay. God yeah. yeah, damn it. A podcast with you and you're Jewish. Like, come on, man. Wait, here. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, man. Whatever. We don't need to talk about it because it's a, it's a road to nowhere. But no, because, because you doing this show with me is proof that you're not anti-Semitic. Very good. You, you tried, right? You, you, you okay, fair enough. Debunk. Debunk. You guys debunked it. You're anti-Semitic and yeah. you're getting fucked right now. If you, if it's all been debunked. Okay. All right, let's, move. let's move on to the next topic. And then, uh, it's all been debunked. Go ahead, uh, Walter. You, you had a question. So we talk about dating in today's society, you know, mm -hmm. women. Um, but in this case, you're married, bro. Good job on that. That is a compliment to you because, obviously speaking, getting married nowadays is not easy. Granted. How do you get to make your wife happy? How do you maintain a good relationship 
Who want to hear your opinion on this? How do you maintain a relationship oh. with your wife? Uh, Seriously, uh, that's what they're bringing, question-wise? Maintaining, uh, like, mutual respect, listening, good communication, and uh, genuine encouragement. I think being caring about the things that they care about and supporting them and treating them like equals, I think, is uh, the pair. You want a good uh, relationship advice is... Um, willingness to change and to grow and to allowing your partner to change and grow being flexible if you go into a relationship or a marriage expecting one thing and expecting things to turn out a certain way or expecting things to always stay a certain way you're going to be disappointed and you're putting too much on another person that um they can't really it's not fair. Uh, you should both feel free to explore and grow as people as you see fit. Um, I'm pretty sure that there has been studies on that, and that is the um, best sign of, of a long-lasting relationship is flexibility. But also all the stuff Ethan said, obviously, communication and, and whatnot. Arrow mount uh, qualities in maintaining a good, healthy relationship. That's good. The question, let's say I'm a young, young guy, like 21, getting to the world. How would I get a girlfriend or a wife, you would say? What? <laughs> no, no, I want to opinion, bro, because obviously... I don't thing. know. I don't, what the fuck do you... I don't know. I, I don't care. But hold on. You criticize us about our opinions. I, I, hear you. Hey, bro. I, I don't know. I don't care and I don't know. Oh, so now you don't know. All of a sudden you don't uh, know. How are a 21-year-old supposed to meet a girl? I mean, who... What the fuck are we talking about? So how can you criticize us? Go, okay, party? how about this? Go into a crowd and talk to a girl. I mean, go, go, to, a, go to a friend's party and talk to a girl. There. Is that it? Do you want me to list every possible way that people can interact, Walter? What is your point? You can meet at a I bar. Want... You can meet at a train station. You can meet at a, a, a restaurant. You can meet at a Walter's house. You can meet Walter's mom. She's a great lady right here. You can uh, meet at... Uh, actually, I don't know anything about your mom. She might, be, she might be bad, but I doubt it. I think she's very sweet based on what I know about you. You can meet at, at the beach. You can meet at the, uh, at the ice cream parlor. You can meet at the mall. You can meet, at, you can meet in an, air, an airplane. You can meet in a blimp. You can meet in a... Do you, do you want me to keep going on, Walter, or is this enough? You got it, bro. You got it. Okay. That was a good answer. Okay, good. All right, so we talked about... That's... Whoa! That's the end of your fucking questioning? <laughs> no, no, no. They're just... Those... What? Continue, bro. Wait, no, no. Don't continue. What was your point? No, you criticize us about our talking points, but yet you yourself no solution, no solution to the problem. So it's almost like... Oh, because... Our talking points. Oh, because because I didn't have a canned response to how 21-year-old men are supposed to meet women. That's crazy. I mean, it's not about a canned response. I mean, you're hypercritical on how we approach modern dating and how to deal... It, and your response isn't really um, conducive to the like one of the biggest responses to the way that they approach things uh, the most effective one is is or the most prescient one I guess is is just like don't be so judgmental and just like chill the fuck out don't put so many expectations on women don't put so many expectations on yourself being successful in the dating marketplace nowadays, which I thought that's what I've been I should have known that he was trying to do some stuff like this, pulling out, you know, oh, talk to Andrew Tate, anti Semitism, blah, blah, blah. What? You have Charleston White on the radio. I think this conversation would be about. Which I'm actually great and happy because this debate is exposed a lot of criticism. Yeah, they seem very so happy about it. On your platform, which we appreciate. Yeah. You, um, you have beaten the anti Semitism charges, my friend. Let me ask you this. Uh, yeah. talking, you, let's go you back to. Can't explain how we're anti Semitic? You're right. I have no possible explanation. Um, 21 year old men are out trying to meet women. How do we avoid, how does these young men avoid meeting a fox, whatever that is? That's your question? Yes. How do they avoid meeting? When you say thoughts, can you be clear about this? Are we talking about like promiscuous women? I guess that's what it means, right? I mean, that's okay. something like that, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's, you just gotta look for the warning signs. Right. And there's, and there's a bunch of them. There's many. Can you, can you list some? I mean, there's a bunch, but here's the thing. It's not like, you know, it's a talent, like, oh, she has these signs. She's definitely a thought. You know, there's always gonna be exceptions to the rule, but all you can do is watch behavior over a prolonged period of time, which is why we're big on, you know, vetting a girl for at least six months to a year. Right. Um, just watching behavior, but having a lot of guy friends, liking the party, uh, former drug use, uh, current drug use, alcoholic, um, former alcoholic, um, being involved in certain professions where she has to display sexuality to make money. You know, strippers, OnlyFans, uh, porn stars, model girl. Um, she, you know, was in a, a, a sorority that likes to party. She went to party college. Um, she was uh, in the military. You know, she was in uh, job fields that were uh, where she was surrounded by men. Um, just a bunch what? Of she didn't have a problem, right. So uh, she had a job that had men in it. Regarding showing the body and all this kinds of stuff, coconuts. And I mean this no disrespect to her because I don't know anything about her, but just to, to what you say, is your girlfriend a thought? Who? Your girlfriend. Who? Wait, what? Wait, your what? Girlfriend? Which one? Fucking dope. <laughs> the one that you're like seriously involved with, Daisy. Oh, Daisy? She's cool. 
Yeah, she's your girlfriend. Is she a thought? Who said that? Um, I, I'm asking you a question. So I'm saying, you don't, you don't know anything. Bro, you... Well, I'm showing pictures. Can you guys see the feed? She, she's showing and she's... I feel like they were not ready for that at all. She's, she's surrounded, she does like fitness stuff where she's surrounded by... She does all that like, uh, pageant business with like the guys in the back and stuff. So she's doing all that. Here's a picture of her ass um, at the gym. She's wearing really tight yoga pants. Uh, really sure. suggestive. Is she a thought? Is this a problem? She do whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. That's nice. Well, Ethan, uh, let me, uh, you might not, you might not, well, here's the thing, he doesn't get it. Oh. Um, Ethan, we see multiple women at the same time. We're, we're not monopolies. Yeah, I don't believe you. You guys both have girlfriends, and you love them, and I think that's special. <laughs> and, I, and I don't know why you guys have to back yourself. Yeah, I think that their, their lifestyle is absolutely, uh, exaggerated at, 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 at best. Coconuts here says that his body count is like a thousand. There's no fucking way. God, My rant, I just have to say, don't you think it's a little? Well, go ahead and play. Let me play you this clip, and then coconuts. You say that it's totally fine, but here is uh, a clip of you talking about. It. Well, if you're in a serious relationship with a guy and you have, you know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet, you know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is true. She's posting pictures like that, bro. It's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So it's a wrap. Pictures. It's okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You post pictures of yourself on the internet. They're simply bad for the purpose of getting and or attention from men. Let the pussy sexualize yourself. And it's not traditional. It's not the only thing ever. Even if you're not a host. Myron, there's a guy down here. There's a guy down that top left. Look at this. 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 Yeah, just so just so everybody knows, like they seem to be in happy, loving relationships with the kind of women that they tell people to avoid. Bro, just talk. You keep talking. No, 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 because because we got cookie, man. This is this is why even the, this right. is what you're talking about. In the first place, when I said you're in a long-term committed relationship, right, mm -hmm. and have photos of yourself like that, it is cheating. Well, guess what? Since she's been my girl, guess what's on her profile? It's hidden. It's private. She doesn't have those pictures up. So okay? you're saying things that happened in the past don't matter. She deleted, she deleted thousands of people that used to follow. So, right? so things in the past. So if she's if she's things happen in the past, and she's moved on, and then that stuff doesn't matter anymore. Well, it's not about that. It's about there you go. She acquiesced to you. Does she get into your frame once you get with her? Okay. So, but with the thing with Fresh, because you reached there, that's not a big well, deal. Well, Fresh said, uh, play like, the sounds act. Close it. She's posting pictures. They're not doing great job of uh holding frame, as it were, in this interview. Just like that. Bro, it's a it's a you said it's a wrap. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. This is like, this is literally why I say you're not prepared because obviously you don't know how to move. It's funny because we pussy, bro. You don't. It's bro. It's a wrap. 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 We're trying to put us, expose us, we don't know how we move. I think we got to because that's what you can do. The one girl is fine. Myron, oh. uh, Coconut, um, do you usually take your um, side girls to uh, meet your mom and buy her presents for her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> she bought her really a wonderful mother's day. Uh, I'm oh serious. Ethan, you watch Who, by the way, more power to her. She seems successful, Ethan. and God bless her for getting out there and shaking her body, or showing her body. And I think that, um, I think women, I think it's fantastic that women feel empowered. I think it sucks <laughs> that you guys wrap yourself in the pretzels, and it just, and then now, now that you guys have actually entered relationships, which hasn't happened until recently, you yeah. know, like, you're getting called out by your own fans, you're having to justify, you just love the girl and you want to be... Yeah, like, th there's just no way that they could ever change the way that they are. Like, they could never be in a happy, monogamous relationship because... Their audience would not allow it. They would lose their audience. In a, in a relationship, and in the real world, isn't black and white like you guys try to imagine it is. And, uh, but now you guys are kind of like uh, caught in your own web. You no, just love your girls. I love. You know what I mean? Love is love, dude. You guys just give in. Why? It's funny. You know why? I do vlogs. Say what? Multiple girls in my videos, right? Mm -hmm. So I stopped doing it because used to have vlogs. People were acting weird with the girls and their family. So I stopped posting that. Doesn't mean it stop. It just means I move differently. Now, granted, you're gonna say, "Oh, bro, this girl's your girlfriend." Ooh, no. well, what? I don't believe you guys are have multiple partners. I don't believe you. Well, you You're not here, in Miami. You don't see. I don't know. I just, I just am telling you. Y'all so, fucking have girlfriends. Cringe. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 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 You have girlfriends. Yay! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let's go. I do a weekly show with my girl, and I say she's my girl on my show. What are you talking about? Well, what Myron's the one dodging, but you say you I'm have multiple girlfriends. That's a lie. Knows. Everyone knows that my girl is Angelica. We so she's not a hoe. You called her a hoe, but she's no longer a hoe. We true crime show together. So also, she's not a friend. hoe. She was a hoe, but she's not a hoe anymore. I love the fact also because if you're gonna play that clip, I also said they're like, oh well, we don't know. This is what this one did profile where you gotta get to know the girl. Exactly. I said that too. You made sure to not show that part, didn't you? I'll open it. No, it's there. I'll watch it again. You don't watch anything, which is why you are very ill informed. Let me go ahead and here. I mean, here it is. I watched the whole thing. Go watch it again. I mean, you know, sexy photos are so funny. Instagram just one even do it. Yeah, like she, she's posting pictures like that, bro. Wait, it's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So I don't when you post pictures, it's okay, okay. okay. Yeah, when you post pictures of yourself right. on the internet, there's Yo. anything for the purpose of getting and or and for men, or yeah. it's sexualizing yourself. What is the definition of post-op? And it's not traditional. Listen, it's not traditional. Even if you're not a host. Myron, look, the guy's out. Look, the city's out on that top left. Scroll up a little bit, Chris. Look at this. This is a problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Streets. She won't care. She's part of the streets. She's part of the streets. It's out of context is what you do when you try to run with another girl. Out of context? What's that? I told you before. Okay, so so after you called her a hoe and said you're for the streets, you said psych? No, no, no. What I'm telling you is I was like, oh, well, with this profile, you got to get to kind of get to know the girl, right? So here's what I want to say. Because you're trying to run with this narrative of like blah, 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 right? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What's situation, right? Because you, you brought up the, the age ago. Fresh used to literally vlog a girl on his other channel every day, but he had to stop that shit because people started getting weird and sending girls weird messages, etc. Yeah. So he's with different women every day. That's not one of his main no, concept to you because you're, yes, bro, many girls have met his mom if I'm gonna break the fucking bubble to you. I'm sure that's true. Walter, you, uh, Walter, you do not strike me as a dude who brings girls around your mama easily. Look, many girls have met his mom. That's number one. Yes, Is that right, Walter? Hold on, that's yes. a funny thing. Walter, how many girls meet your mom? Damn. Many girls have met his mom. Okay. How many girls meet your mom? Walter, check. Walter, 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 respect your mama's time, man. Yeah, that's funny either way. Like, if, if he's in a serious relationship and he's... I mean, that's sweet, you know? Just to fucking admit that. But if, if his story is true, then he's bringing these women around to manipulate them, pretty much. To make them feel like he cares about them more than he does. And he's wasting his mom's fucking time? Like, Jesus. Mom, bro, so nice try. So, so wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. This is good. Why is it an exposed, Walter? Because I don't want to... <laughs> He's a friend, though. Give him a friend. He's trying to use that to support your claim that that's the main girl. I'm trying to tell you, all girls need to be The game is to be sold, not told. You understand, Ethan? You don't understand that. You're the game. He's been selling drinks to these girls, bro. It is what it is. Wait, what did you say, Walter? The game is to be sold, not told, my friend. Yeah. So, to be sold, not told. But isn't your whole show selling the game? Is that what your whole fucking show is? What do you mean? Selling the game. Because I'm out. Because I'm married. And telling it, I guess. Like, I'm a loser married with kids. Successful. But you can't put that on me because I don't do that right now. Yeah, I mean, if we want to talk about girls, why is your girlfriend going to the gym right now? My wife? My wife going to the gym. Yeah, why is she going ahead and start? <laughs> this meme is like over a year old. Why would, my, why would your significant other want to be healthy? Oh, now she wants to be healthy. Oh, whoa. Every girl that goes to the gym is going to cheat. Because you want to bring my don't, chicken. Wait, your girlfriend's constantly at the gym. Both of y'all girlfriends are at the gym. It's what? what? Walter, your girlfriend works out all the time. Who? Uh, no, who? What <laughs> fucking dopey losers. You guys are like a comedy duo. You guys are like who's on third? Who? Girlfriend, what? I don't know where. When? I just told you. My my wife is due in uh my wife who's working out to cheat on me is actually due to have a baby in less than a month. Third okay. baby, by the way. Third baby. A boy, three boys. Can I get a big ups for my sperm? Telltale signs. Uh, a woman leaving a man and she starts going to the gym. It's actually it's very well documented. I'm okay. just telling you, pictures like that. Let me go ahead and have a. Uh, I was just saying, you guys. Pictures of herself in the gym and stuff like that, man. You might want to watch out. And here's the other thing, too, because you want to mention with Angie. It's having kid, three kids a telltale sign of leaving a man. She keeps everything up. Oh, Ethan. We let you talk, bro. Yeah, so again, oh, okay. once she got with me, she switched everything up. And I'm in an older relationship. I know what I want. She's not giving me no, I'm open on my end. She's pulled on her end. Okay. That's a lie. How's that, how's that a lie? Because I know you guys are cute and you love your girlfriends. He packs my condoms. You guys, it's just part of your business. <laughs> nice try, Ethan. Again, ow. Well, yeah, that's what you say. You guys have a nice rehearsed thing to sell it to your audience. But you love your girlfriend. I love that for you guys. Ethan, if you're not aware... Uh, give it up. Love, love, love. You guys, you guys have the wonderful, two wonderful ladies, and you want to treat them right, and I think that's great. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Listen, you're trying so hard. If you're not aware, we travel a lot. We're here in Miami. We do double dates all the time. Walter, you've had sex with 1,000 women, you claim. Maybe could be more. Could be a lot more. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe could be more. The point is, though, Ethan, you don't know how we operate. You just assume because that's all you do. You assume. haven't. Had, so you, you've you had sex with a thousand women, and then Myron, you've had sex with was it like four fifty or something about that? You had the exact yeah. number. Like four, yeah, four, it's like four four something. It's like you count each one. That's creepy. Like yeah, that's creepy. But uh, like yeah, that's that's super creepy. But also like, that's just comically untrue. How's that creepy? You have like a kill list? Like what are you doing? You you got you you catalog every woman you have sex with? You know that's interesting because your partner Hassan sat down right next to a girl that cataloged the dick size, the amount of guys, the names. What does that do with me? Other shit. Well, you partnered with him and did a podcast together, bro. I don't know they, anything about that girl. I don't give a fuck. And you want to Yeah, you know what? It's weird what she did. That's weird. Uh, we no. partnered with that guy, right? No. Right. Well, he didn't do it. She did. 
Oh, if he did that. it, it'd be weird. Check if he did it, if she did it, it'd be weird. If fucking uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln did it, it'd be weird. If, oh. you know what I mean? If Myron Games <laughs> catalogs 447, I mean, how long is that list? You got like a whole fucking Taurus scroll of girls you fucked. That's crazy. Man, what is this electricity? Is that a charge rifle? Like that other girl, and your partner was totally cool with that. <laughs> By the way, he's even more critical of Israel than me, and you'll call him anti-Semitic too. Well, yeah, he's... he's yeah, he, that's why I'm doing the podcast no more. Because he was critical of you being a super well, It might surprise you to know, but being against Israel doesn't make you anti-Semitic. When did I mention Israel? I didn't even mention Israel when I was accusing you. Yeah, I know. But if you did mention Israel, you would know that that's what I'm critical of. Not Jewish people. The nation of Israel is what I'm critical of. So now... Yeah, no. <laughs> like, no, no, none of what was shown was, like... Yeah, so Hassan is an anti Israel criticism. Anti-Semitic? Cool. Neither am I. And he says way more stuff than I do about that concept. What has he said about the movie Europa? <laughs> what? Did you watch it? You're so funny. Uh, I mean, listen, I haven't read Mein Kampf, but I know it's not good. It's a wrap. Well, have mean, you I read Mein Kampf? How do you know it's bad? Have I read Mein Kampf? Yeah. No, I haven't read then, it. Is Mein Kampf a bad book? Is it? Uh, I mean, I don't know. No, you tell us. Have you read this? You should read it. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's about Hitler. It's about Hitler's dreams of basically uh, uh, world domination and that Jews are the root of all the world problems. It's, it's, a pre it's a prelude to the Holocaust. Did you read it? What do you, yeah, what do you think about no, it? No, I man? literally started this conversation with say I haven't read it, Walter. So then, what are you, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> you have the you have the gold fizz, bro. How are you a podcaster? No, I've been meaning to ask you this. Coconut, of all the professions in the world, the fact that you're actually a podcaster blows my fucking mind. It is, yeah. I didn't criticize you for being saying one thing about Israel, man. You're conflating you being a neo-Nazi with being a critic of Israel, and it's stupid. Well, that's what I'm critical of is Israel. So clearly, I'm not anti-Semitic by your logic. Thanks. God, you are really dense. <laughs> I'm not dense at all. I'm just saying, like, I don't even know. Okay, you got me. You got me, buddy. So, okay, right, okay so, so just because my girlfriend has my condom, so we're in an open relationship. I know you're saying like that's. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, leave that. No, for that. I mean, what, what, you want me to send you sex videos or something? What do you want? <laughs> Absolutely not. Like, well, what do you need? What, like, bro, what I mean, are you filming those? Strange. Why do you like what we do with girls? Bro? Like, yeah, that's a little weird, man. That's like, your whole shit. What do you mean? Why? You don't believe us? Aren't you married, bro? I do not believe you guys. Absolutely not. What I do you believe... not believe us? Particularly, what do you not believe us? Please tell us. You guys are in a loving relationship with your wonderful girlfriend. You think we're both and you're monogamous. And also, you, Walter, you've slept with probably 15 women, and Myron, eight. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so you don't believe your body counts either. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Weird. That's your comment. That's a man about my body count. Yeah. <laughs> They're <laughs> fucking <laughs> losing it. Yeah. Whatever you think, bro. That's that's awesome. That's brilliant. What do you think, bro? What do you think? Nice. Bring it back to the Holocaust. That's Bring it back said. to Holocaust denial. That's what's up. That's what you said. Let's not yeah. forget about that part of the interview. I, I thought you wanted to debate, like, you know, uh, masculinity and dating. Well, me, okay, I'll ask you a question in that realm. What? Why do you? Why is it important how many women you've had sex with? I never said that was important. You've, you've said your body count. You said you've slept with a thousand. Podcast. So it's not important how many women men have slept with? Not really, no. But you didn't, you, well, I would say you didn't need experience. You need experience, but like, I mean, after a certain number, it just becomes novelty at that point. So it's like, no, I mean, it's not. So why do you count? I'm just curious. Why do you count each one? I just, I just count. I mean, I'm just one of those guys. I, I kind of document everything in my life. Mm -hmm. That's just how. Mm -hmm. And Walter, do you count? No. It's too many to count in Walter's case. That dude's fucking every every day, multiple what? times. That's my boy. He barely has time to do the podcast. He's just fucking on the way to work. He told me eight. You know why it's important to document yeah. things, Ethan? I'm doing I'm jokes. document everything so that when people make allegations, try to say you sexually assaulted a girl, you're prepared and you're able to do a six-hour podcast with all the evidence proving that you're innocent and you didn't do shit. Accusations like that can tell me you're So I do document everything for that very reason. Great, fantastic. Yep. Um. Well. Um. Let's see. Coconuts, you are. You are um religious, right? Who said that? Oh my god, what's the point of this conversation, man? Do you want to end the conversation? Well, Ethan, uh, while well, you're on your decline, I just think you should research your process for you assume, you know? Yeah, you, you didn't research much, man. You didn't, well, oh, okay. yeah, bro, you did like, yo, you gotta fire people that did your research for you, bro. Another you, ancient bro. meme. Yeah, May I accuse you guys of being bad faith? Sure. So how are we bad faith? Go ahead. Well, we can start by not answering any fucking question I ask. Oh, you yeah. answer every question I have with, like, what do you think? That's, like, cowardly, oh. lame combo. You guys suck. Myron, are you religious? No. Oh, sorry, not Myron. Walter, are you religious? What do you think? <laughs> You look so silly. <laughs> you know why I say that, uh, Ethan? <laughs> if you did research, you would know what the answer is. I uh, know what the answer is, dude, but what? that's part of having a conversation, no, no, no. man. No, no, no. Tell the audience what I am. Let's see how your um, assistant did. Uh, let's see how they did. Tell what, what is he? And what, what are you? Please, you're right or wrong. Go well, I see you're wearing a cross. Okay. I believe you come from a religious family, correct? Okay. I believe that you're, you have an, a family member, a grandpa, or someone like that who's a pastor. No. I believe you might have been studying to become a pastor at some point. Yeah. Okay, and I believe that I'm not 100% sure what your current status is with religion, and hence the question, my friend. Okay. Well, the answer is no. Okay, very good. Cool. How there you go. Is that so hard? You're a thrill and a joy. It was great. You're so monotone. Thank you. You, you did, hey, you did answer the question. So you're not religious. You, can you, you can't get mad at us because you've been a little ill-researched, so we kind of want to see how accurate you would be with that one. I mean, you guys say that, but I'm pretty spot on here. I wouldn't say you're spot on, man. No, like you're, you've got things way out of context, way off. Okay. 
You know, you literally said our body counts are eight and fifteen, man. You're not spot on at that's, all. Yeah, that's just a joke. I, you know what I mean? I'm just goofing on you guys. And then you also said that we're monogamous relationships and we're loving relationships with our girlfriends. Like, like what? We're getting both. And then you said that I'm exposed for having a girlfriend when I have a weekly show where I call her my girlfriend on my true crime chat. We literally play Overwatch together and stream it. What are you talking about, dude? Like, everyone knows I got a girl. I've never hit that. <laughs> you know how it was bad? Wikipedia's a source. Yo, well, yeah, we can, we can, well, well, you guys have seen the movie. What's a better source than asking you guys? No, I mean, dude, I would hope you would have done better research than that. Goddamn, Ethan. You've but, seen the movie. Uh, tell me what it's about. I'm prepared. What, what, what else do you want to talk about? What is Europa about? Bro. What's the look at that? <laughs> I spent eight hours watching this film, and I can't remember anything about it. Yeah, that pales in comparison to other documentaries that I've watched on World War II. I watch everything, dude. That's a special one, though. Come on. That's one of the special ones that you got. You can't find it on Netflix, you know what I mean? Okay, so, so I'm evil, but like, I'm a bad guy for looking at alternative history and looking to see something that isn't necessarily in mainstream media. I think that's important to look at all things. No, not necessarily. There's nothing wrong with watching the movie. But, uh, yeah, you could say I was just interested in it because uh, a lot of neo Yahtzees are into it, and I'm just researching their points and... Seeing what they believe, and I completely disavow all of it. I bring Dave Rubin on. I bring Dave Rubin on. is not King of the Jews. Right. Also, that's Nick, not the Nick Fuentes is a neo-Nazi. He, look, look, the point is, is that I'm okay with having conversations with people that have different views than I, than I do, and I'm okay with having people from different walks of life come on this podcast and talk. What like, other uh, What other World War II documentaries would you consider based? Uh, there's a couple, man, that are pretty good. Can I you mean, name them? Sure. I, I like Numek, right? I think that's a good one. Numek. Uh, yeah. Base. By, 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 yeah, free base. Talks about you know how Dave, John F. Kennedy was killed. Oh, that's another. Check it out. Wait, what's it? Can you read? Is it okay if I read the synopsis of that one? I don't know if that has a synopsis. I don't know if that one has a synopsis, man. But it's very historic. So, you're, 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 so wait, where are you finding this? Shit? Nobody's ever wrote a description of it. That's what you're saying. It's never been described in, the, in the human history. You're not gonna find it. It's on Wumble. Oh. But it's all historically accurate. It's extremely historically accurate. What's it about? Well, it covers a bunch of things. It covers how you know the nuclear bomb was flown from the United States, and it talks about how organized crime. Uh, was involved in Where United was the States. nuclear bomb flown to? It was stolen from the United States and moved to Israel. Stolen by who, Myron? Israel. Why didn't you just say that from the beginning? I literally just told you. you well, well, I had to press it out of you. I, why did I have to press that detail out of you? I told you the documentary, and then you were interrupting me as I was trying to tell you what okay, it was. So let's keep going. So it's about how Israel stole a nuclear bomb from America. Yep. Go on. Is, by the way. Go on. <laughs> okay, go on. What else is it about? Anything else, bro? This game boring. Yeah. <sighs> what do we do, Coco? What do we do? Well, decline. I mean, at this point, I don't. This is your debate. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's no, a you guys are just you guys are being very subservient to me right now. I like that. <laughs> we're not being subservient to you. We're just letting you know that like you hey. laid you got your you laid down and you're all spread out for me. That's strange. What? So, what? I, call, I call this a civil debate, which is, you know, on our end, we've been very professional. We've been avoiding ad hominems. You've been taking a lot of ad hominems. You haven't really even debated any of our ideas. Man, that's more uh, than actually attacking any of our ideas or our viewpoints. You've just been coming at us the whole time, which is cool. I expected that you would do this, which is why we were prepared. Okay, um, so you can't be that disappointed. No, no, no. I mean, I knew. Wait, is there anything you want to ask me? To no shot. They're prepared. They were not prepared at uh, all. This has been very subservient with me in firm control of the interview. No, as, no, uh, no. as the kind of, you know, uh, which, is, which I tend to be in control of, of interactions with people. Uh, it's, it's just one of my kind of alpha traits, along with being married and having kids and being quite successful, too, I might add. You don't want to have this debate in person when I ask you to do it in person, right? Ooh. What does that matter? Oh, okay. So alpha, but you don't want to have this conversation in person like I wanted to. Who cares? Oh, now it's who cares. <laughs> I think that's a pretty important detail, Ethan. Why? You know, that's not pretty subservient that you want to do it on the internet and not in person. What? Oh, okay. Not, not so subservient now. Huh? Zoom, is get, is Zoom is subservient? <laughs> no, I'm telling you that I wanted to have this conversation in person and you don't want to do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I prefer Zoom. I do all these kind of interviews on Zoom. Oh yeah, well I think that says a lot. What are you gonna beat my ass? What are you saying? I never said that. Why would I be scared? To, why would I, you're playing? I'd be scared you came to the office, right? No, I don't know why you don't want to do it. I don't know why. You tell us why you don't want to do it in person. Well, I'll tell you why. Because when I do these types of interviews with people, it's good to have an out for us and you. Sometimes they get contentious. Sometimes they get heated. And when it's on Zoom, we can just hang up and carry on. And same with you guys. So that's why I've never had anybody in studio for these types of debates. Okay. Well. Yeah. I mean the. That just makes sense, honestly. Here's the thing with me. I like to, you know, be able to look a man in his eye when he disagrees with me. We can have a civil conversation, right? And make sure that, you know, stays integrity-based, respectful, etc. Because I'm pretty confident you wouldn't have said half the things you said. I would have said everything I said to your face person. every fucking time. And let's set it up in person. I don't want you in my studio. Who cares, man? Why are you so upset? You're so upset. You, you have a six-pack, okay. so you think that that will intimidate me. Whenever, over the internet, it seems that I have the edge. Personality-wise, uh, uh, control-wise, success-wise. Uh, uh, Relationship-wise, family-wise, so 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 if you bring, so your theory is if you bring the abs I just said to the studio, then you'll have a one-up on me. No, I just said we can have this conversation in person. You don't want to do it, and that's fine. I think that says that signals a lot of things, but that's cool. I'm not, I'm I am having a baby in two weeks. I really don't I'm give a fuck. You first class, we can have a conversation in person. I'm not saying that there's going to be. Can any you not express yourself over video call? No, we absolutely can. But I'm saying you're trying to have this frame of like, oh, well, I'm the dominant one, blah blah blah. And I'm telling you, well, you didn't want to be dominated today, my friend. 
You didn't dominate anything, my friend. We're, we're debunk all of your points. Yo, think about it. But we can continue on. Just like I said, you've just been doing ad hominem attacks. You've been reaching, etc. No we're way, dude. Point. Is there anything you guys want to ask me today? Uh, I'll, I'll give you the floor. I'll relinquish control uh, briefly for you guys to ask me something. No, no, no. no. Uh, it's fine. We've asked you a few questions. You said you wanted to debate on something with uh, with intersectional dynamics and dating. Go ahead. What do you want to ask? Oh, you wanna, I asked. No well, I, debate, I, you said you wanted to debate masculinity, dating, all this other stuff. None of that was actually covered, which is cool. I anticipated this would happen. No, but, I think we covered pretty well what we said. We said, what did we say? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Who gives a fuck? Oh, no, no, who gives a fuck? Well, we <laughs> said, like, dating, culture, men and women, and we said general stuff you guys talk about. This is all stuff you guys talk about. You've had Nick Fuentes on. I showed you clips of that. How was that taking you out of context? Oh, there was no comment. Of, uh, there was no talk at all about foreign policy with Israel and America, but that's fine. App is called Speaking Arrangements yes. to Troll Women. Yes. <laughs> My name is Zoe. Oh, come on. <laughs> Zoe, when I see guys that are single, I see her. I see a lot of shit, but when I see men that are here, they are 18. Myron's liquor bottles in the middle. They're sipping Kool Aid, I assume, right? They're having a yeah, grape we, we soda, see uh, orange soda. Today, I want to see who in particular this is. We can't see anything. We can't see anything. 20 years old. 20 years oh, for real? Old. Yeah, we well, can't see video. Okay, okay, well, it's a video of like you having girls on. Hello. They introduce themselves. A lot of them are saying they're 18. This girl just said she's 20. But anyway, and then it cuts to you guys, and then it cuts to you guys back after the show drinking with them. So my question is, is it good to give underage girls alcohol? Does that increase ROI? When was this? When was this video? Uh, can they not see it? I mean, it's right here. Can't see it what, what date is that? Oh, I can tell you. It'd be easier if we can show you though. Is that on our side? Then? Are you guys pretending you can't see it, or you can see it? Yeah. No, we. No, I can see you. Right. Your little um, thing there. You can see it now. Yeah, we can see the video now. Okay, cool. Shanti, okay. I'm 18 years old. So Shanti's um, 18. Okay. Here she so is drinking at Cinco de Drunco party in the back. To, uh, third, so she's sipping yeah. water, right? So there's two situations here. Number one, some girls lie and say, I'm 21. And we she said she's 18 in, in front of you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Or the second one, if we know that they're not 21, we put water in their cups and we do the Instagram story anyway. Uh-huh. I, I did, how did I know that you were going to say they're drinking water? On yes, Cinco de Drunk Day? Yes. Okay, okay, that okay water in the red cup. Ladies. Ladies. Again. Okay. Let's try it once Bro. again. Yeah, if no, we, I totally believe you guys. If they're turning up with that hot well, Cinco de Drunco day. Put water in their cups because it's an Instagram story. Well, I, I, so, what, I think it's such a great idea for you guys to pretend like they're drinking. Minors are drinking. I can see how that benefits you so much. I mean, that's such a plausible explanation. Well, you, go, you know what would be awesome of us? Again, to pretend like the minors have alcohol. So people think they have alcohol, but listen, actually it's water. That's again, such a, that makes again, so much sense to me. You are assuming, which is why we do it. You're right. Check. You caught me again. So again. Yeah, like that, that would be incredibly stupid. I mean, it, it's incredibly stupid to give underage people alcohol, but... Um, it's also incredibly stupid to make everyone online think that you're giving them alcohol so they don't feel left out. And you're reaching. Reaching once again. I'm not no, inside the cup. No, I'm not inside the cup. You're, you got me. You got me. I'm not inside the cup. You're trying really hard, but yeah, man. it's very so, no. easy. And so here's another one. But it's not just one. It's, it's many times. Here is... Um, yeah, I know. You're very happy about it. Okay. Let's just watch it. We'll finish this and you can comment. This girl's also 18. When I see guys are... Yeah. You need to find the people that did research for you, though. You okay, well then tell me what's wrong with it. Single, I see her. I see a lot of shit. You see the that are So, um, again. So here she is 18. You guys, there's alcohol at the table. And you guys gave her a fake alcohol cup with water so that it didn't look awkward. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's for promotion. Also, we include everybody so they don't feel left out. Exactly. I don't think you understand how shows work, especially how these type of shows run. Yeah, you don't need to fucking give an. Uh, you don't need to make it look like underage girls are drinking for promotion. That is not good PR. Well, too many girls, you're wrong. And again, you check IDs with all, with all these. Yeah, man. So Can I ask we, you a question? Can I ask you create you? fun environment, festive environment, etc. <coughs> so let me just follow the logic here. You invite. You have an 18 year old in your studio. You guys yep. finish the show. You yep. go to the kitchen. You pour everyone drinks. That's before the no, show. Before the show. Okay, it's before, before, right. It's good to get them liquored up before the show, so it's, e it's easier to speak with them. Water. And actually, we tell Water. them, ladies, don't get drunk if yep. you're able to drink, because we will talk on the show. We don't give them more than two shows. We don't give them more than two drinks, bro. All the That's time. very responsible. Not your own. What's the okay, so, so hold on. Let me just follow the logic. So you're s at this table with a girl who's 18, and you say, um, here, take this cup that looks like what you would drink, a red cup, which is synonymous with drinking alcohol, and I'm going to yep. put water in it so that people watching think you're drinking alcohol with us. For the story. Yeah, it's for the story, bro. Okay, yeah, the story really. Okay, that's I mean, awesome. Hell, if you watch our podcast, now, you think that's a good idea? You see us with red cups and we don't drink. And we're drinking I know you don't drink. That's why you guys are such creeps. You get girls around you drunk and you guys stay sober. I was like, Hallmark creep babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, that's no. Being sober and then like getting other people to drink is. Myron, and you think that's a good idea for 18 year olds to have so to have red solo cups so that. So it looks like they're drinking alcohol. Why is that? Water. Is that so, the... so hard, dude. It's water. It's like, I know. I know you guys are saying it's water, but why would you want to even make it seem like you're drinking with them? Bro, they don't want to be left out. Hey, can I get a cup too so I can do cheers? Bro, so you, but it, it, it's a, it's a, that's not even close to worth the perception that you're drinking with minors. Just don't give them a fucking cup. Only weirdos give them a glass. 
cup of alcohol. Leave us back. Re- I'm the only person who thinks there's alcohol in a red cup. Bro. No, no, it's not about that. It's that it's water, dude. I mean, hell, I even have a red cup when I'm sitting here at the table. Sometimes it's water. Well, a lot of the times, and, and, and when you're, what about on Cinco de Drunk Day? They weren't drinking, bro. Of course not. Particular was not drinking. Maybe the other girls were, but that girl wasn't. She was sober the whole show. If, you, if, she, if she was really drinking alcohol, watch that episode. Oh no, wait, you don't watch that episode. Why was she sober as fuck, man? <laughs> Yo, bro. Like Ethan, like her. the proof is in the hood. Watch the episode, and you can see she's not swearing her words. Okay. She's not fucking stuttering. She's sober <laughs> as a <laughs> sober as a gopher. Yes. Once again, another L on your part. Like, yeah, no, I'm taking fat L's here. <laughs> I'm taking fat L's. Yeah, she's dude, I just ha- I like to hang out with my younger fans, and I give them red cups that are traditionally used for drinking alcohol out of them, and I make it look like I'm drinking with minors, just so they don't feel left out. That's what you said, which is insane. Chris That's Hansen would like to ask you a question. Are you telling me that you never drank alcohol when you were underage? Not, not, not what fuck, bro. Wait, hold on. Did you just confess? Are you young? Is that a confession? I think you just confessed. Well, it's not my responsibility. It's not the minor's responsibility. I mean, you're 30 fucking four. Drinking with 18 year olds is just pathetic. We and weird. Drink, uh, yeah, you guys don't drink. Makes it even weirder. It makes. I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. Oh, oh, well, then just stop. Makes it even weirder. It makes it so weird. Ethan, let, let me explain to you. The, the, the underage girls drink water, and then the, they're of age, okay. they want to drink when they show up. Got it, got it. They drink so, water out of a red cup, and we, we no, do it so they feel about, included. Yeah, we want yeah, them to feel water. special. And then the girls that are older, you, you guys are so considerate of the girls' feelings and when it comes to drinking and, and posting. And but in the studio, we don't care. We'll give, we'll give them one or two at the most, because we don't want them getting fucked up in their age. What's the problem with that? I've seen a lot of the drunk girls in the studio, man. Girls yeah, passed out. Come on, come here. What do you see, bro? Well, you say you give them two Okay, whatever. Let's continue. No, 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 no. Let's get on the floor. What do you see that's drunk on the show? I've seen I've seen videos of girls that are drunk on the show, they're drunk on the couch in the back, etc. And they got drunk before they came here. Okay. Don't we'll give them more than two to three at the absolute So most. here they are cheering. Um, here's a 20 year old girl. I mean, the other ones were 18, 20. Hello. Oh, I'm 20. Okay. Uh, I'm under 21. Okay. okay. Under 21. Okay. okay. Right All right, cheers. Here are two the 200, 21 girls with Boston Myers yeah. liquor bottles here drinking out of a red cup, which is filled with water. So we don't, we, we don't want them to feel left out. I can't be next to this guy. We don't want them to, we're so considerate of their feelings before the show. Once the show comes on, we're going to be lying. 30 I'm minutes actually. Um, See, Ethan, are, are you like, like, here's the thing, Ethan. When girls come into the studio, right? It's a big podcast, they're nervous, they're not sure. So, like, we obviously have to create a certain aura so that they. <laughs> like, yeah, this is like. This is so creepy. Like, yeah, they're, they're nervous, so, you know, we gotta loosen them up and. They feel comfortable. Now, some girls wanna drink the girls that are underage, we don't give it to them, but we have our producer here, he's talking with them. We have girls that work for us, they talk with them, they chat with them for a bit, put some music on, you gotta create a little aura for the girls to feel comfortable. Then we do the podcast. The, the red cup with water is the, is the crown jewel of comforting. Uh, it, it's great. You know you sound silly. The girls that come on our podcast are 21 and above. Sometimes it's cranberry juice, sometimes orange juice, but the reality is the girls. You, you asked me if I'd ever drunk, drank underage. Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Ethan, uh, I didn't do it, in, but, I, but like, if adults were offering me alcohol, do you think that that's like, like, you know what I mean? That's weird. No, because you're trying, you're trying to virtue signal right now as if like underage huh? drinking is the thing ever, but you participate in yourself. <laughs> as a ch- as an underage, as a minor, as a minor, I participated. As an adult, it's a different story. If okay, you're, sure. but as a minor, I participated you with other minors. To someone that wasn't 21, okay, man. You ever did give a beer to someone that was under 21, okay, man. Sure, we believe that. Just like you believe us with the with the water, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. And, and all cases of drinking are the same, not like uh, going to a date. Uh, yeah. I think you guys wrapped it up here pretty good. So how do you guys, so let me ask you this, how do you guys feel about this interview? It was great, because you literally brought up all the points that people like to criticize us on, and we were able to debunk them with 40, 50,000 people watching live. We got, what, 50 KNR, almost 40 KNR online. Yep, totally <laughs> debunked. But, yeah, I mean, you made a bunch of claims and accusations, and they're just you know, it almost like has a sense of Andrew Schultz's podcast. Andrew Schultz tried to get out, gotcha, and yeah, he didn't. It it's fine. Try yeah. to call it not true. Try to get, oh. ask Andrew Tate to say that he's a trap for can't substantiate your claims. Try, you know, I did. Try I showed you a video of him confessing to it. The beat here, the beat certain topics that we talk about all the time. Try to say that we're single, or no, say that we hit our hide our girlfriend. That you're I'm monogamous, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. One last time. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? You two. You told us told us already, bro. You so told us. Oh, we don't know. We so don't know. know. How many? So, so to rephrase, so, so to recap the interview, uh, we give minors red cups full of water so they don't feel left out for our Insta stories. Andrew, we, Andrew. We, we, we love the documentary Europa, which is about the neo-Nazi conspiracy. It's about based. Jews controlling the we world. Said basically, we said we're based. And you said it's based. Nowhere where did we say we love it? Okay, based. Right. Thank you for that very important difference. That based. is a big difference. Because yeah. if we're saying it's based, that means it doesn't uh, align with mainstream media narratives at all. Okay, good. Thank you. Not sure that's... <laughs> that's yeah, that's a good... We all know what based means. Good confession there. Europa, which is, a, which is probably one of the most anti-Semitic films ever created, is based. Um, then, let's see what else we touched on. You touched on that... Um, you, we touched on that... Let's see. Uh, once girls post pic, uh, stand, uh, revealing pictures online, it's over. Unless they're our girlfriends. Then we can then we can move on. Um, when you're in a committed relationship with a girl... She's you forgot to pictures like that? Part. Bro. It's a rap, man. It's a rap, bro. It's a rap. Yeah. Yeah. Do you play sound bites? I think you don't understand. You play sound bites. Are you saying you love Hitler earlier? Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys got me good. You got too, Except you guys actually love Hitler, it sounds like. You called
But what, what, you're are you like a, are you like a false accuser? Are you doing like false accusation? No, no, no. I'm giving like a false accusation. Mine are based on evidence that I show you. No, no, I'm assuming you said that word you meant. I'm assuming. Huh? Okay. No, you don't. <laughs> and then again, you, it's funny because you played that clip, but you haven't played it again. I said when you're in a committed relationship with a girl and she has pictures of herself. Oh, you want me to play it again? Do we, do we have the... So that's very important. No, I'll play it again. She's with you and she does that. That's a problem. And then once she gets into a relationship with you and she... Can I just read this to you? Yeah, because I think it's funny. It's, it's not really an exposed. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I just think it's funny. This is your um, uh, dating profile for the uh, sugar daddy one. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're showing this. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I can't see the screen, though. Say what? I can't see the screen. Okay, now I can see it. Uh, social media influencers and I run a popular podcast in Miami. I bet a vodka soda you can't guess my ethnic background. Two tries. I own a high ticket coaching business that nobody's booking. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Who knows? And I'm realizing that Notorious B.I.G. song Mo Money Mo Problems is disappointingly true. Nice I'm hoping you don't that. add to that disappointment. <laughs> Are you having money or Mo Pro Mo Money? So fucking no cringe. Problem? Yep. Damn. I have so, more money than you, and I'm happy, and I'm I good. Have, I have to this bio with you because just so you know, this bio has been copied by thousands of people. Yeah. Okay, oh. just you. And I can explain to you why I use this term for phrases. Not to sound that I copy, but here's some of my numbers. Only 4% of male population is over 6'2. Less than 3% of males make over 300,000. Only 5%. <laughs> so fucking lame. <laughs> and he's got like a 400 body count with this. Men are in shape with abs. And only point, and, o and only most other men have a personality that actually makes them desirable to women. I have to invest in these other three so that we don't have to think about that. You lucked out. I have all three in one package. So, yeah. Yes, girl. Zesty snap. I'm picky for a reason. Beauty yep. women is common, but high value men are not. Be yep. prepared to compete. Yep. On so God. Ethan, so, right, so Ethan, um, here's oh. the thing: when you write profiles, you'd be surprised. When a woman finds you attractive, she actually does read your profile. They spend a lot of time. Reading I, I know that's the problem. Crazy things. So, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just cringy. Because no, you can say it's cringy, but yeah. there's a reason thousands of men have copied it, and I get messages from girls all the time saying, "Yo, this is literally your profile." Okay. They'll use my pictures and they'll use that same exact verbiage. Now, here's the thing: I'm using a bunch of things. What? I'm using funny. I'm using. Uh, crazy arrogance. Now, here's the thing. Women will sit there and say, I don't like assholes. I don't like cocky guys. But guess what? What they're aroused by versus what they're attracted to are two different things. Unmarried. Assholes like me. And the other thing, too, is you need to let women know that you're better than them. Okay? And I know that sounds like a foreign concept to you. Unmarried. Uh, okay? So women date up, right? Women want a man that's better than them. You need to exemplify that. Now, on a site like... And here's the thing. you got to use a different game on different sites. I would never have a profile like that on Tinder or on Bumble. But on Seeking, you need to have a profile like that because you're dealing with some of the bougiest of bougie women. So you need to fight fire with fire. Bougie situation. women? You think bougie women read that and respond? That's funny. You'd be surprised, they actually. I'm do. fucking top, top three percent. Be prepared to compete, Buster. He didn't like to get hundreds of messages. I showed my secret profile before with people talk shit, and yet you're still unmarried. It's not your fault. You don't know how to. You don't know how to enter a respectful. Uh, uh, you don't know how to enter a relationship that is meaningful and strong enough that it would be turned into a, a fruitful marriage. You do not. You lack that potential, and I think that's sad. And I how hope you that you guys pursue with your girlfriends, um, who are lovely ladies. Uh, yes. That you hey, let me ask you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying that we don't know how. Wouldn't it be fair to say that if I'm if I've hooked up with a bunch of girls and I've dealt with a bunch of women, I'm probably probably gonna be a good assessor of a good versus a bad woman, due, due to my experience? Wouldn't that be fair to say? Well, that's not what he's saying. He's saying you don't have what it takes to build and maintain a happy lifelong relationship. It's true. You should have found your wife by now. You just get it, man. You just don't get it. This married guy doesn't understand dating at all. No, you don't. He doesn't understand the game. Trick question, by the way. When we asked you earlier, yeah. you didn't give any real way for men to meet women in the modern That's day world. That's not my business. I don't give a fuck. I haven't, I haven't written a guide. Well, then you are not equipped to have this conversation with us and just to try to debate our well, it's not that deep. It, unfortunately for you, it's no, not that deep. It's not a PhD. Now, 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 I don't understand all the concepts you bring up. Yeah, now, now it's not that deep when I'm explaining to you the nuances and how that's important when it comes to attracting women. And the Only 5% of men are in shape with abs. Again, the problem <laughs> that you're on dictates how you deal with the women. When you're on a site like that, when you're dealing with women that are some of the most attractive <laughs> the way, that are dealing with multi-millionaires, multi-billionaires, etc., you have to be hyper-competitive and also let girls know that, yo, beauty is common for me. You're just a regular chick. It is what it is. You have to almost knock these girls off their big pedestal. But you wouldn't know that because you haven't dated in 2024 and you're because not Because I'm deal. married and know how to have a healthy relationship. Okay, so you are not equipped to give men dating advice in today's day. As, as a healthily married uh, man with a family, I don't have it. I'm not in a position. If you became single tomorrow, yeah, you have no fucking clue on how to navigate the modern day dating market. <laughs> tomorrow, what would the you marketplace. Do? You guys are so funny. What would you do? Go knock on your mom's door. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It was good. It was great. It wasn't that bad. We're just being silly now. We're just being silly. No, no, no. Coconut theory. We're just being silly. I got you, coconuts. You look upset. You look emotional. Is that emotion? Sexy with the mama joke. Ethan, since you want to go ahead and criticize my essay profile and how I deal with women, etc., right? Your sexual assault profile. Why would you want to? Why would you want to advertise that? You denied it. My sexual assault profile. Okay. You said essay profile. I mean, Jesus, man. Seeking arrangement is what it stands for. Oh, okay. I got you mixed up. You said you were thinking about the other one. Yeah, yeah, assuming, yeah. yeah, assuming like you've done before and you got the bunk. Uh, the whole show, by the way. Um, so yeah, Ethan, that's, that's the question. Uh, the girl. What would, you, what would you do if you got divorced tomorrow? You have, have to like actually answer, answer questions to debunk shit. Like you can't sit there and be like, "What? I don't know." You tell me. And like, gotcha, debunked. If I found, a, if I got divorced tomorrow, I would, I would go out into the marketplace 
and I would fucking, I would talk about how rich I am and how successful, and I would fuck so many bitches, dude. <laughs> All right, it's that easy. How would you go about it specifically? <laughs> My, I, 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 listen, this girl on the left is 18. She's drinking out of a red cup. Girl next to her is drinking out of a water bottle. Uh, if she's drinking question. water, hold on, this is a good. Question. If she's drinking water out of a bottle, why is the 18-year-old girl not drinking water? Why is she what? drinking out of a red cup? She brought her own bottle. Ta-da! She brought her own bottle, man. Congrats, team. Want to share the bottle, dude? Okay. <laughs> All right. There's water in those cups. That's what, what everyone believes. Yeah, bro, like, bro, they don't know each other. You're trying so, so hard, man. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 uh, coconut. Is hey, this bro. what it's like when you go to, to, to like, McDonald's? What would you want to order today, Yuto? You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> 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 They had all this time, and that's the best meme they could come with. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would come up with like me holding dynamite or something like wow. that. Damn, bro, that was you holding dynamite. That's not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was from the subreddit. Thank you to them. Yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Anyway, so wait, I, I, how would you go about, I, like, you go about if you were single, bro? Like, I'm asking. Like, here's a real question. Like, I don't care. Do I don't care. What would you do? I don't care. Now you don't care. I never did. Interesting how whenever we ask you a question or we're having a, you're about to get into a real well, debate. It's like a weird, it's like a weird hypothetical thing. Here. I don't know. Oh, I have a lot oh, to think about. Like when you asked me earlier, oh, well, what if Andrew was actually a rapist? Like, you, we, like, I'm asking you your opinion oh, on like a concrete, specific video I showed you. Oh, you're, you're, you created like a fantasy world where I'm, you guys fantasize about my divorce a lot more than y'all think about your own fucking girlfriend. Bro, things happen, bro. If you get divorced, it's okay. Uh, okay, I get divorced. Uh, what do I do? I um. Okay, what do I do? Okay, let's see. If I talk to a lawyer, I get a mediator probably so that we can part ways amicably. We talk okay. about it a lot. We go through a lot. You know, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to split up. We talk. We probably maybe even couple get some couples therapy. You know, to make sure everything's good. Cause we want to do. We want to do healthy co-parenting. Cause we love our boys more than anything in the world. And then I'll probably get lunch. Um, <laughs> and I'll tell them. You tell me what to get. Like, is that do the therapy? Is that what it would be? Sorry. Say again. Would you try to like negotiate a desire? Is that why you do the therapy? Negotiate what? Desire. 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 Negotiate desire? Yeah, cause that's typically what therapy is designed to do. Oh, you guys are doing one of your weird like red pill terminologies. I mean, you it's, negotiate. It's, how do you negotiate strange. desire? I mean, if you're if you're meeting, do you not believe in therapy? At a predetermined location to meet with a therapist to discuss your relationship, and you go over problems and like, hey, well, I don't like when you do this, and I don't like when you do this. Okay, well, if you well, do we're this, already divorced, so it's more about just. Ends up being a lot of the times, it's you take out the trash and you give him sex. Blah blah. We're already divorced. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. Like, you're trying to go to therapy. What's the point of going to therapy? If you got because we have three boys that we love, and we want to we want to co-parent them healthily. Okay. Ther therapy just helps you um communicate better, like um. And learn how to communicate better. So that you can more effectively get across how you feel and what you want to say in a kind of neutral uh, area. In a safe space, if you will. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, if you're going into it, like, just tell me how to fix this. It's, it's not going to work. It's, it's more so just like a... Uh, healthy and safe environment to be able to communicate better okay you can you can do that through the court system no i want to go to a therapist oh, you want to go to, why don't you want to go to the court system i would i prefer to talk to a professional with a degree a judge and professional <laughs> with a degree yeah well actually with a big degree they're jd they're so, a lawyer they're so, better than the therapist. so your claim you said classes what did, what did you, yeah. you said, we want you rather go to therapy and i'm like why go to uh, therapy it's, 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 let's just let the court system handle it yeah, it's just, uh, all right. Listen, cocoa but, uh, coconut, uh, uh, my boy. I'm fine. I love you. Ethan, do you really want to debate, man? Because this doesn't seem it's like three and a half hours. You guys, you guys are just milking it because you have high viewership and you don't usually don't get this many views. Uh, for me, it's not that big of a deal. We actually do get. We actually get more. <laughs> How many live views you get? They cap so fucking hard. Well, we literally, you, you remember that Rumble? Yeah, we split the audience. Right now, between uh, Rumble and YouTube, we got 34,000 watching. And how much on YouTube? How much on YouTube? How much on Rumble? <laughs> 17,000 on YouTube and another 17k on Rumble. How much you get, buddy? 45, 45,000. That's great, bro. Thank you. Well, you know, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Walter, me and you, though, there's a connection. I think I think there's something special. You got a you, you got a face that I like, and I think you're a sweet guy. Uh, but you guys have gotten pretty boring, and I just don't care anymore. No, you're boring. Discussions now. It's like you're boring. All right, have a good show, guys. Why aren't working anymore? I don't know anyone watching this podcast, bro. It's just so boring. I agree. That's why I'm not up anymore. Okay, buddy. More ad hominem attacks. Good debate. Yes. No debate. Just ad hominem. Did you call me Piglet? Wait, he called me. Wait, hold on. Walter, you call me Piglet? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Ethan, I'd be happy to have an actual debate in person. Wait, hold on, hold on. Walter, you call me Piglet? No, no, that's not coconuts. That wasn't me. Oh, okay. So, coconuts, you called me. You called me. Well, hold on. Didn't you congratulate me on my weight loss? Why would you go after my weight? That's my feeling. You're still bigger, buddy. You're still bigger, but hey, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me see your abs, coconuts. Let me see those washbar abs. You look a little sick there, bucko. Okay. Oh, it's funny. You've been munching a little too many coconuts. Those have a lot of calories. I know you know how to do that. 
Okay, look, Ethan, I'll just We wasted nothing together, for real. I don't care about Myron anymore. <laughs> Myron, you're not... Hey, Myron, could you quiet down? We're trying to talk to Walter. Myron, chill. Let the uh, men talk to you. Look, so you guys don't want to have a debate in person. I don't want to, I want to talk to Walter, who I find more, much more interesting. Walter, we should do a mukbang. I think it would be fun. Two guys just eating and shooting the shit. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good, bro. What? Come on. Oh, you guys look upset. You know, okay. you know what you should do, bro? You should focus on staying married. Oh, oh yeah. Obviously. I am. I, ha I am. Thank you. Man. I I really thought that they would uh, be able to hold their own a little bit better or have some better responses planned. This was terrible. That should be Yo, me like you know, you know Yeah, no, it, it, I take my marriage very seriously. I, I Thank you for that. I'm, I'm going to be honest here, Ethan. I genuinely thought we would have a good discussion. Uh, a I debate. don't know why you thought that, dummy. All right, I don't yeah. care. We got to go. You, you Bye, dummies. All right, it's been real. Thank you, guys. I don't want to end on that. You know, you I'm know, being facetious. I'm being silly. I don't want to. I, I thank you guys for coming. Uh, we talked. Person uh, we uh, uh, did something. Uh, I think we'll see what it is. Yeah, part two. You want to have ad hominems. You didn't debate any points. You just attacked us personally the whole time, which I knew would happen. Yeah, I mean, they really need to have a part two. After being demonetized on YouTube, they fell off hard. And just the whole red pill manosphere content shit is falling off hard as well. Like, it's just not, it's not as relevant anymore. It's falling apart. But you just showed me. Hold on, hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. Hold on. They need, oh, no, you guys, you guys, hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. Oh, no, no, no. You can use the alcohol cup. Just put water in it for social media. Because you guys used to be based. Now you guys. Hold on. I'm talking to my 18 year old uh, friends. Yeah, put the alcohol. You don't need to drink alcohol. Just put water in it for social media. So people on social media think you're, I'm drinking with minors, which is cool. Decline, dude. And this is why. Like, Ethan, decline. It is true. You have new subscribers for a reason, my friend. You sold out. Everyone knows you sold out. Yeah. You're not capable of having a rational. And the fact that, like, the memes that they're trying to use on them are, like, one to two to three years old like they are such one trick ponies just like their fucking sound bites like i tried to have with you my mistake was holding you to a higher standard to be honest here that's really my mistake and that's fine you just embarrass yourself in front of what 50 70 000 people live that you're not able to have a coherent articulate discussion with another adult hell you didn't want to do it in person yourself the type of man that you are yeah. <laughs> how many people died in the holocaust myron i don't even know you're such a good goodbye no 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 don't, 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 don't. not yet I want to do this. Right. Damn. You failed. Try to say we're racist. You failed. Try to say you tried to say that we're sexual assaulters. You failed. No, 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 not that. Look at the chat. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I can't see what chat. Oh, bad. No, do the whole thing. Yeah. That whole thing. This one can't see what you're showing. Is he showing something on screen? We can't see anything. We can't see anything if you're showing you on screen, dude. We just hear the music. Wherever you are. Nah, man, I think this is L for you, bro. Yeah, hopefully L. You just proved once. You did this with See, you did this with Steven Crowder too. You couldn't debate him either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, yeah, you couldn't debate him. Yep. As you, everybody uh, knows, I got owned by Steven Crowder. <laughs> God, they're so fucking emotional and yappy. Jesus Christ. That's the dumbest thing, bro. What that has nothing to do with Jewish people. If you're if you're Semitic, it just means it means Jewish people. It's colloquial. No, it means no, 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 no. It means anyone from that part of the world, which Arabs count too. God. Yeah, but there's different. But Anthony, okay, but you can hate Jews and I hate Arabs, right? You're not a smart guy, Ethan. I'm. You're not an intelligent guy. You're right. All Semites are the same, and if you hate Jews, then you also hate Arabs by definition. Super wise. No, no, uh, by your logic, you're saying that I'm anti-Semitic. I'm trying to do a group, but I don't know if it's working. No, no, because I'm Jewish too, and I'm like, I can't see it. By that logic, but I'm not. I can't be anti-Semitic either because I'm Arab. I can't see it. Hold on, oh, no, I'm trying to do a cool thing. Please block our screen sharing because you guys are scared. Which we know you guys would oh, do that I can't too. See it. How many no. kinetic stamps are on the screen? We're trying to drown you guys out with kinetic stamps. Hold on. Because you can't debate. All your, Ethan, you're just making yourself look bad here, dude. That you can't have an intellectual debate. You took an L on every single talking point. You tried and you failed. There's a reason why they call you guys L3. <laughs> and I didn't make one ad hominem attack on you. Oh, All man. I simply did was point to facts and the truth. I didn't insult you one time. Thank you very much, Myron, for your respect. I appreciate that. I tried, man. I tried. Hey, again, happy to have a debate with you in person anytime you want, my friend. All right, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up if I see you in person, buddy. I'm gonna fight you. I mean, if you want to put the boxing gloves on, we can have a nice match as well. That'd be great. I'm, you wanna do that? I'm, I'm gonna intimidate you physically when I see you. I mean, I never tweeted there. I never said anything about fighting. All right. You Thank you. Box? We can box if you want. You want to box? <laughs> <laughs> so fucking sad. <laughs> So I was trying to drown him out with the thing, but Ian's not here, and I don't know where any of his connect sand stuff is. It just it wasn't gonna work. And also, if I did put it on screen, but it co their zoom feed is covering your screen, so you can't see it. I was trying to tell you it's oh, happening. So we had some kinetics. There was some kinetics. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I wanted to just let. Uh, obviously, that the debate had been over for a long time. So I, I don't know why they wanted to stay on the call so much. I think it's just because they. Were I think it's just that we can't be seen. As we can't leave way. first. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't bring any questions, and I mean, so they they certainly beat the anti-Semitism charges. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean that's the biggest takeaway, and why.
it's not just every, being funny. You know, every um, every person who uh doesn't hate Jewish people, uh, you just you know, they all they always go. I don't know how many died. You tell me. Six. I in the beginning they were a lot looser, and then they're like, oh, we gotta tighten this up. Oh, I think they remembered that there's Simon. All right, yeah. So I mean, between this and Sneeko's interview with Jinxy, like I think the red pill shit has just really fallen off, and um. I think, hopefully, I don't know if, hopefully guys are getting a little bit older, seeing through the, the lies and the veil a little bit, and, uh, hopefully becoming their own people, because all these dudes are, they, they sell the idea of escaping the Matrix, but all they're doing is trying to encourage them to get the most comfortable place within the Matrix, and, um, really devaluing humanity along the way they are absolute pieces of shit and this was really entertaining really entertaining